<clears throat> yes, your first Monji Baker. Welcome, boss man. How's it going? Yo. Last Dark Blitz with the fat. Paco you with the pizza man. You guys are still pigs. Look at everybody. Did I hear fundamentals? Dude, look what I'm eating, chat. I just went to the store. Right? Right. Fantamentos! GG. They're actually pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm-hmm. How's it going, bros? How are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. I also have these. I have both. Hello guys, I'm Alois. Today we are gonna do a coaching in the top lane. Sup, you look 24 today? That's alright. Johnny TTV, thank you for the prime, thank you for the two, boss. 24, I can, I can handle. I don't mind being 24 or perceived as 24 years old. 24 is alright. It's better than uh, 42. These are disgusting, the other one is better. Bro, this one is like this one, this one slaps. This one is good, bro. Yo. Nanakos, good to see you. I shouldn't eat too many though. Then we're gonna have a sugar crash. Wait, what is that draft? Amumu jungle, Camille support. Okay, yeah. And it's Cassante top. All right. Yes, we got the masses of Mar with Yorick. Yo, Dream Eater Gecko, I'm doing all right. They were asking. Hope you're doing amazing yourself. Alloy Coast, how is it going? I'm doing all right, these snipers. Hope you're doing amazing yourself. Yes, new patches out. More horny graphics. Let's see if today's Shen games are gonna be better because yesterday we had a lot of struggles. Yo, Gabi Bito, welcome. I'm doing all right. Opening some mentos. Give me a second, sorry. I can't open stuff. Sparky, good to see you, bros. Alright, let's go! Getting in the game. Yo, Gloop. The blue ones, the blue mentos. GG. We can only eat. So the Phantom Mantles when we do something well. We're still in Platinum, by the way. Keep that in mind. Wait, why is the font change from the names? The font looks different. We're playing against a Ghost TP Cassante. You guys know who a good coach is? Alois. That guy is good. Good morning, bossman. Good morning, Ninja Fish 2. Thank you for the tier 1 for 5 months. Good morning to you as well, man. I hope you're doing amazing. Should I main jungle or top and one champ? I would recommend top, but if you're new, I would recommend playing a champion like Garen. Because it's simple. Yeah, this looks like the same font as in Korea. Indeed, it looks like Korean font. I'm scared to queue right now because I don't want to get you against me. What if you're in my team? Unless you're a top player, of course. Never mind. Alright, chat. Let's focus here. We are red side against Kesante Amumu. It's not really a threat to my champion. I think this matchup is pretty easy for me, actually. Uh, I should be able to get priority control the wave. That is also why I went Ignite. Uh, they have melee champions in the, all over the top side. The only problem for me is Vayne. But we have Gragas, Yasuo, or Pantheon to deal with the Vayne. So I think we're pretty good here. Alright. <clears throat> my friend told me that Riven top Ignite is cancer. Is that true? He plays Zack and Vayne top. Well... <sighs> Yeah. Chat, Querty, your friend is a is a bugger, bro. Your friend is a bugger. T tell him right this, okay? If he thinks Riven is perceived as cancer, but he's climbing with Zack and Vayne top, the best reference or analogy I have for that is like, if he if he's climbing Elo playing those champions, it is exactly like flexing that you're rich from doing OnlyFans. Best comparison, okay? He's playing Vayne and Zack top. He's a meta abuser and he's a pig. Yo, life is bowling. Um, quite a few of them. Let's say uh, jungle tracking, reset timers, wave manipulation, even though you are a support. Um, stuff like that. And if you know how wave states work, that can also optimize your, your own timers, right? So there's that. 
Uh, yes, we're gonna collapse with expected graphics. But I wa first wanna climb a little bit more. I'll find a new friend. Rightful. Alright, chat, let's focus here. Gragas is starting Raptors, so what Gragas can do is Raptors, Rep of Crux, Gank top level 3. Amumu's starting here, we saw him starting. Um, so yeah, both journals are pathing into bot, but Gragas could look for the early game to uh, gank top. This font is a little weird, I have to get used to it. Alright, let's focus, chat. Start to grasp. He's leashing for a long time. Maybe I shouldn't have hit the means at all, so he loses some... Drag my blade through him. Look at the damage. Boom! Bah. My next Q, I have to drag my blade more forward. That's good for me. And my blade is aggressive again. One minion for level two. But the means are too far forward, so he won't walk up. I want to keep my blade there because it's in such a nice position, so I can drag it through him. Nice with blade bot lane. He's lost his potion already. Drag my blade through him here in a second. Amazing trade. He uses W. That's a waste. He's in dive range for me now. I can drag my blade through him again here though. And... And he is ghost. So he cannot flash away. We have solo bolo. We don't have to be scared of an Amumu gank. Because remember, Amumu is passing into bot here. So we are fine. Just continue laning here. There we go. He doesn't win this. Shen is really strong in the early game, chat. People people, people underestimate your strength in the early game. I had six Q stacks there because I prepped my Q. Oh, I teleported there. I had prepped my Q and then dragged it through him again. Now, he's, now his game is over because two things will happen here. First of all, he's losing all these minions, right? But the second thing that's going to happen is that this next wave right here is actually also going to walk into his turrets. So my next minion wave will also di like die, right? But his minion wave, look, it's standing behind the turret. So this will all stay alive. And the amazing part with this new change is, look, my minions will mainly look to aggro onto the turret, not too much of his minions. So his minions are going to stay alive here. My minion wave dies, so I lose nothing and I come back to like a perfect wave state. And that is what we call... <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. I won't, I, I'll make the joke a few times and then we're gonna let slide, okay? Let, just let me make the joke a few times, okay? Some fundamentals. Alright, let's sit out the wave. I can look for one trade here. Drag my blade through him. Look at that trade. He's just dead again, by the way. He's Q and W. Okay, didn't get my grass proc there. Could have waited with my ult maybe a little bit. People will always die for Kenamians. Level 5 here. That was a good dodge by him. I gotta thin out the wave here, because else I can't hold the freeze. I gotta look to thin out this wave. He shouldn't try it anymore. Very good. By thinning Holy out the wave CZ. And I Nate! Thank you for the five, bro! That's for you, Nate! Bomba! Nate! Thank you for the fiver, man! Good to see you! Alright. Well, we're in an amazing position, but chat, the next thing we need to consider is how do we set up our next reset. The wave is pushing towards me, but remember, after the wave crashes into my turret, it will bounce away from me. So, two options here. I could look to Rico whilst the wave is slow pushing towards me, but look how big this wave is, right? So, it would always just crash. So, I kind of am forced to stay, but I'm healthy enough, and this guy is only level 4. Like, 4.5, so he's never very close to level 6 here. I'm gonna have my ignite on the bounce again, so my thought process here is to just let this get into my turret and start instigating the bounce basically, and I want to play out the bounce here, and once I've crashed the wave into his turret, that's where I want to look for my reset. He's still gonna be forced to walk up for last hits here, so if I can maybe do like one good trade for me, that will allow me to also stack the wave more confidently, I guess. The main thing I'm wary of is the Amumu gank, because I do have a very big shutdown here, so that's what I can be careful of, I guess. Okay. Yo, Cold Inferno, good to see you, boss man. Hope to see you more often, man. I understand from the States it's harder with my streaming hours. He's gonna lose the cannon here. Very nice. And like I said, we're slow pushing this. And now we wanna hard push this wave. It's kind of funny to say hard pushing as Shen, but uh, yeah, we're trying our best here to push this as fast as possible. I don't really have to focus on any of the trades here. Like, I shouldn't trade with him. I just want this wave in before this next wave comes, right? That's what I see on my mini map. And now we get this in. 
I hope Cassante doesn't freeze, so this wave crashes, because this next wave is here, it's coming. He is looking to freeze, which is his correct play. So I'm gonna hide around the wave here. He hasn't seen me, but he could have a ward here. And now I gotta push this wave as well. Now, if I die, it's still bad because I have a shutdown. But I would at least die on my turn. Okay, that was an amazing trade. My Q is aggressive again. And I just want this wave in. That's still the most important thing. He's not close to level 6. Remember, he just hit level 5. Now we get the wave in. I can one-shot him if he plays like this. Okay, let's recall. I have ult as well. If need be. I'm gonna ult here. For ult stacks as well. I EM. I think he could kill my uh, my asshole there. So I either mid air. Nice, we get an ultimate on the stack. An extra one. And uh, Cassante does have enough time to push this out, but... Like, I would rather play to facilitate my team here than play for myself, right? Because I am already ahead. Um, okay, no. Let, let's eat the normal. Mint, mint, mint Mentos. Mint Mentos for this one. Alright, let's go. What is this? Oh, fist bump. We lose nothing. I'm gonna cancel this Cassante's recall. There we go. He's stuck in lane now. I could have flashed there and killed him with his own 3, so it's not worth it. Like, I could have queued to flash behind him. But he could ult me as well. It's not worth it. He might ult me. He died kills. Very nice. I get the plate as well. Beautiful. I'm gonna take one more plate here because he does have TP. Harper's next wave, get Titanic Hydra. And just look to expand my lead across the rest of the map. But every lane is kind of winning. Alright, we get a free game here. Nice. Stay for one more plate. I know Amumu is top side. I think that still gives me the plate. I hope. Yeah, easy. Okay, nice. If you hit it, it doesn't matter how far away you are from the plate. You just need to be like, I guess, in combat with the plate recently. Does that make sense, chat? So like, if you've hit it somewhat recently, even if you're standing here realistically, you would still get the money. Yo, FBQ, I'm doing amazing. They were asking. The mint mentos taste horrible. The fruit ones are way better. Yeah, you're wrong. Chat. <clears throat> type 1 in chat for mint mentos. Type 1 in chat. Or 2 in chat for fanta mentos. But honestly, mint mentos are better, bro. Mint mentos are way better. Come on, man. It's like saying barbecue sauce and chicken nuggets is good. You always want chili sauce. Yo, Finner, good to see you, bro. 1 for the mint, 2 for the fruit. So many people are bugging. What? Bro, more people say two? Guys! Mint is better than fruit! Alright, different question. Would you take barbecue sauce? Okay, barbecue sauce is one. Chili sauce is two. Careful now. Barbecue sauce is one. There's not a single two. There's not a single. Okay, Sparky. Sparky's saying. Oh, there's some twos. Bro, why would you willingly choose barbecue sauce over chili sauce? You guys are criminals. Legit criminals. Convicted criminals. Bro, chili sauce is like 10 times better than barbecue. What? Okay, wait. Q stacks. I'm gonna do a trick here, chat. I'm gonna. Auto EQ, auto boom, bomb. Nice. Bomba. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do some polls later. I think you guys are legit griefing me by the way. I'm gonna do some unbiased poll later. Like, like I'm gonna do some unbiased poll later. You guys are kinda scaring me with your opinions yet. I'm gonna be honest. You guys are just wrong, kind of. Okay, this guy's old. He bought Mercs, because that makes sense against full AD comp. 
No, 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 don't. We're fine, bro. He's 0-5. What's my Gragas doing? He gave him confidence, that's good. I want the double buff. Um, gold reset. Ah, that's what he was doing. Ah, my Gragas looks like the average barbecue sauce enjoyer. <clears throat> Take with that as you want, chat. I'm gonna just let this go through. Maybe I shouldn't have. Ah, oh, we're chilling. Gonna hit me and killer. Didn't work. Fleet to resolve piggy. Shh. I have an idea. Shh. Slow him. Ah! Ah! My Sorry, my bad. My bad, chat. You say it? Fun fundamentals. He wanted me to say it, so I said. Oh. He didn't want me to say that. Alright, I mean, this game is over, which is nice. A quick shen game is what I like to see, because this champion has been rough. On, 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 on the homies, on the map too. Okay, we did give him a fat shutdown, so let's remain disciplined. Let's keep this game, you know, chill and end it soon. And um, I'm gonna buy this just because I can buy it. It's so cheap. Right, let's go. Double spike. We're gonna keep going top. Could you please educate me when to play second Riven W? Can you educate me when to place second Riven W? Riven doesn't have a second W. You mean your second point in W? Or like, what do you mean with second second Riven W? I'm trying to... Can you reformulate your question? I'd love to help, boss. Wait. I should look too old. I want ultimate hunter stack. Okay, three out of five now. Oh, when? Oh, when do I take my W level two? If I have kill pressure. If my opponent cannot poke me and I have kill pressure, I can look for W level two. If I'm just pushing the wave and my opponent can poke me or I can't look to all in, then I will always select E. If I can have kill pressure at level two, so let's say I'm playing against an Aatrox, and I trade at level 1 with him and he's half HP. Uh, I'm gonna select my W second, so that I can look to all in him at level 2 and look to kill him. However, if that is not the case, then I'll just always select E second. I hope that's what you meant. Alright. I mean, this game is pretty much over, so I just hope they have and we can move on fast. I mean, you are midway combo and it comes up again. He means this. They have heft. Exactly what I wanted to see. I'm not sure, buddy. I'm not sure. Just use it when it's there to, like, cancel their auto attack or something. I don't know. If, 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 if you can, like, cancel their auto attack or you can cancel their ability. Or you use your W to to, to guarantee your ult. That's, a, that's an important thing. Like, you use your W in sync with your ultimate so they can't, like, flash or use something to dodge your ultimate. That would be an idea. Alright, chat. You know we you won. We won. You know why? I had to buy it. I saw it there. It was in the store. I was in a devious mood. I laughed when I saw it, and I bought it. All right, so I can get it. Let's go, Sparky. Yes, sir. We can finally start climbing on the Shen account. Hello, Zara. I want to ask you about the new series on your YouTube channel. Would a vote of support maybe be suitable for such series as long as you can be informed about it, right? Yes, but I would still start with more top lane content before I delve into other roles. I do want to transition to other roles, but for the time being, it will be top lane votes mainly. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. I'll make the I'll make the poll for Sauce. Give me a second.
Okay. Sorry, I had to take a little painkiller for a headache. All right, chat. A very important question, okay? Extremely important question. We're gonna make a poll. What flavor of Mentos? Fruit? Mint? Very important. Very, very important. Choose. We have one minute. Fruit or mint? Nah, this is rigged. Nah, this is rigged. What? Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Look at this. Mint flavor. Mmm. 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 Jami so knows what's up. It's just fruit, you're a pig. Can anybody flames my wallop? I'm permabanning you. Bubble tea, thank you for the tier one. Hey. Simo, you're just wrong. Mint is shit. Mmm. 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 You pick fruit if you want some eating like candy. You pick mint if you want to breath fresh. Bro, I can eat, I can snack on mint mentos, peppermint, licorice, smint. It's a snack. Quick snack. Can't be just me, right? Apparently everybody chooses fruit. I already wondered why they even had the fruit flavors. They're like so shit, but yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. I see where we are at, chat. D do you consider a poppy to masses fun? Fairly underrated and fun to chat. Well, yeah, but I don't like playing tanks inherently in solo queue. Yeah, we're gonna do the souls poll next. There's gonna be another poll. Bro, shut up, Felix. Okay, another another important one, chat. Another very important one coming up. Yo, Raution, type uh, exclamation mark uh, guide, and you can find a Riven guide right there. So th there you go, Raution. All right, chat. Another poll. Please don't let me down on this one. What sauce on nuggets? Barbecue. Sweet chili. Alright, chat. What are we choosing? What are we choosing, chat? Okay, this one's closer. Okay, as a Texan, I have to say barbecue sauce can get mad at the Texan. Okay, that is fair. I've seen some of these Texan... Or tech Texan barbecue stuff that actually looks good. But you have to choose sweet chili, man. Sweet sauces are for psychopaths. Whatever, man. Barbecue is like I'm tasting warm floor or something. Sweet chili as a sauce, barbecue as a drink. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, chat. It's alright. I know where you stand, chat. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. You guys are just all wrong, by the way, but it's alright. Mustard beats all? Hmm. Funny story. I remember hating mustard as a kid. Like, absolute hating mustard. I was like, how could you ever eat mustard? How do people genuinely eat mustard? Like, this is nice. But now, like, I don't know, 10 years later, I actually like mustard. It's pretty good. <laughs> I guess changes, or flavor, or whatever, whatever you call it, it changes, right? Your flavor, your palate, it changes. Change is good, or can be good. You refuse to accept the truth? Um, I don't mind being a minority. I still factually believe that my opinion is correct. Therefore, you guys are all wrong, and you guys are... Piggy sheeps. Wukong Top. I remember people asking me, why don't you play Wukong Top, Alois? It's good. I'm going to show you why Wukong Top is not good. 
Yeah. Don't forget about split push Shen. Yeah, I was talking about it and thinking about it. I don't think it's still. I still don't think it's the correct approach. Actually, do you rate mushrooms, bro? I hate mushrooms. I'm gonna be honest. I've never liked mushrooms. You're literally eating like fung fungi or whatever you call it, fung fungus, fung whatever. The texture is shit. The the taste of so many is like disgusting as well. I don't like the texture. It's I, I'm not a picky eater at all. But mushrooms, most mushrooms, raw mushrooms. I actually, I actually find raw mushrooms decent. Raw mushrooms is fine. Fungus is also in bread. Bro, it's just, it's just a texture when eating mushrooms. It's just my, I don't know. Something just snaps in my. It, it, it is disgusting. I just can't eat it. But raw mushrooms are actually good. You have the taste bud of of the kid, bro. I just don't like mushrooms. I eat almost everything. I'm gen well. The thing is, I don't eat stuff like pork and stuff like this. But that's for different reasons. But mushrooms, it's just the one thing that's like, like nah, bro, nah. Most vegetables, everything like that, I don't mind. But just it's the texture of mushrooms that just doesn't sit well with me. Somebody cleared that mushroom chat, I need to explain it to my wife and he did it perfectly. I got you, bro. Bro, you need to explain to your wife that she doesn't want, like... <laughs> probably not a pirate, doesn't want his wife to cook mushrooms for him anymore. So he needs streamer alloys. With my comprehensive, extreme vocabulary. To explain why mushrooms are shit. The texture is just awful, man. I, I want to throw up. I want to puke in my own mouth when I taste the mushroom. But I got you, homie, bro. I got you, homie. I got you, boss. <clears throat> no, GX Urep. The last game was in Masters MMR. And that's when the challenge is done. We reached Masters MMR. And the challenge is done. Alright, chat. Now, heading back into educational gameplay. Not talking about mustard, sweet chili, barbecue. People that eat barbecue sauce and no, whatever. Uh, fruit or mint mentos. Doesn't matter. Let's look at this game, okay? So... As always, chat, the fundamentals we need heading into the game. First four waves are the most important. So let's scout what we're playing against. Pressing tap is an important skill. It's all about preparation. So we're laying against Wukong. Wukong is a champion that likes to extend the traits because of his passive. The more auto attacks he does in repetition, the more armor he stacks up. So that's important to know. Now, let's take a look at the rest of the setup. He's playing Conqueror, so he's better at extended fights. But he's playing Sorcery. I'm not sure what he's running in Sorcery, because he doesn't have Ignite, so Nimbus doesn't make sense. It could be Gathering Storm, it could be Transcendent, something like this. But it doesn't really increase his lane strength, right? For example, I have... Well, I should have bone plating, but uh, I should have bone plating. Now, so all the information I have here is Conqueror Sorcery, and he has D-Blade. So that means he has zero sustain, and he's playing TP, right? No Ignite. I have Flesh Ignite, I have Sustain through D-Shoot, I have Second Wind. So I like to go for short traits with my passive shoot and quick auto attacks. He likes extended fights with Conqueror and D-Blade, right? So I want to out-sustain him. Now look at the junglers. They have a Shivana jungle, I have an Evelyn jungle. And both jungles are going to full clear and probably play for level 6. So, that is the information I have from pressing tab. Now let's head into the lighting phase. I want to try and get my priority if I can because, and I always explain this, if you get your level up timers faster than your opponent, regardless of the matchup, any losing matchup can become winning because you get your level 2 faster. Okay, his Q start, so we verify. Oh, he has Scorch. Interesting. Drag my blade through him. Didn't drag it through him. One caster and one melee grants me level 2 here. The trade, short trade, it's not extended fights. Level 2 here though. I should have eaten into him, I'm a pig. I had, I, I thought he would level up, but I didn't count his means correctly. I had a level 2 timer there, but I didn't dash in. Because I thought he would hit level 2 and then he would win the fight, but... I miscalculated because I'm trying to explain and think at the same time. But it's okay! Sometimes, even I feel on the fundamentals. That's good. Short trade's what we want, chat. 
This is fine. He overextends a little bit, but he has flesh TP. Gotta remember that. I'm playing flesh ignite. Bow drones are probably pathing into bot because he was also late into lane, so I assume Shavan is pathing into bot here. It's like my W. He uses potion. He's below half HP. He's playing mana flow scorch. That has to be useless. He has his W now, most likely. The more I trade with him here, the more I put him in dive range. He has no W right now. If I hit him with one more extra auto attack, I could probably dive him with my E. He's lucky that the cannon followed him. He might not expect me to do it. Well, I canceled two autos. That has nothing to do with fundamentals, it has to do with mechanics, and mechanically, let's just say like mechanically, right? I'm a, I'm an idiot. Uh, I should have traded at least. Now, one thing I can say, okay, listen, bef before you like all flame me, the wave is actually good. So I died on my turn, so I don't lose anything, but I should have gotten first blood and maybe trade a kill. That would be fine. But I am in a good wave state. The problem though is that he has TP, so he can just TP back. He has no issues, he should TP back as he's doing. And he's gonna hit level 5 fast here, and he's gonna have item lead. So... Now we're in a pretty shit spot. Okay, Shivana path to top. You see how her blue buff is lasting longer than her rep buff? That means that she has started uh, blue buff, right? Uh, he's already level 5. So he actually did path both into top. Well, we are pretty far behind now. We are still ahead in CS, massively. Uh, he has a Sheen, no potions. So I can look for short trade still because he has no sustain. And these trades are good for me, because I have two potions second with this shoot. But he could always reset. He wants short trades with Sheen, which kinda is counterintuitive for how he wants to play in jet- Oh, I misclicked. He might be resetting. We do still have the CS lead here. I need to deny Wukong as much XP as I can, because he's so far ahead of XP on me right now because of the solo kill, so I want to slow push this as slow as I could so that he doesn't get level 6. I also dislike Evelyn getting a Sheen because I feel like it delays her clear so much. Right? It's better to get a Blasting one for her if she's going Lich Bane because Sheen just, you know, she can only use it once, but Blasting ones will proc on every ability. Alright, now we gotta push because I need to crash the next wave. Else my slow push lasts too long. So I'm gonna start hitting the wave. Shavana is here, I gotta push it away first. I'm gonna potion to stay full HP because he could get level 6 here. I should be using W's for his Q way more often. Wait, what? What's his leg? What? Okay, uh, am I still live, chat? Am I still live? Are we still good? Or like, what happened? I don't even know. I had ignite. Okay, well, that's good. Alright, we're still alive. Uh, that's a little bit tilting, but I get a lucky ultimate to get back in lane, and we get two kills, so we stabilize. But um, that is extremely unlucky, nonetheless, what happened. Just disconnected at probably the most important timer. Okay, let's try and mentally regain my composure, because um, it's, it's just like, I don't know, I was like uh, pretty annoyed in that frame, but it's okay. We get two ultimate hunter stacks for that, which is massive, and we're gonna be able to push out the wave here. Alright, let's keep up the focus. We're still in a completely fine scenario. We can buy boots and these two components. If I stayed for the plate, I'd have Tiamat, I guess. Maybe I should have done that, but I, I, Wukong should be back already, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, here he is. 
use Shin Fate, right? Same plan here, chat. He has no potions. I have refillable. I have ignite, so I can look to look for small trades, and this will always benefit me. I have potions. He does not, right? So now we're in an amazing position, and now we're gonna throw out the wave so I can freeze it here. What Thank you so much for the tier one. Food. It's corn, a big OL lump with logs. It has the juice. Okay, I know this meme, I know this meme. Thank you, bro, for the T1. I appreciate it, bro. Darania, hope you're doing amazing. Alright. I'm gonna push him here, because I do have a dive threat. Maybe I should have frozen, though, so he's forced to walk up. Uh, he has ult, so if I E and he can always press ult to cancel my E, right? Which is what I have to consider. My Evelyn wants to come here, it's a free dive, but she's all the way bot. So it might be hard. That's good. We could dive here if somebody wants to come. He's gonna be close to level 8 as well. I should have froze the wave, I think, instead of pushing it back to him. I think I made a mistake here. I will try to dive, but I have um, Bobby Sinner, which is what I have to be careful of. Because it can proc turret aggro always. Okay. The way he's pushing back into me. This is amazing. Shivara could be here. He doesn't win though. I one shot him. Oh, he lives. Are you kidding me? <sighs> yeah, the night warmer. This game is so tilting, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, this game is annoying. I like that my Gragas walks up at least. Very, very frustrating scenarios this game, but it happens. It happens to the best of us. Oh. He should die. We're still at NCS, so we're like fine in this game, but we should be way more ahead. It's okay. Alright, let's keep up the focus chat. I need to I need to regain my composure this game. The disconnect and uh, I don't know. It just distracted me. I'm playing a little shitty now. This guy, this guy. Walk in. That old is uh, suboptimal. You always gotta ping your like your teammates to go in. You have to like ping to go on the way so they actually walk for it. Because very often they just simply won't, as you guys can see here clearly. I don't know what we're trying to do here, but just take my farm. Go away. What are you going to do? Okay. I guess if you do that, I'm happy. We dive him. Nice. Okay. Never mind. I have three out of five stacks, not two. Good. We're back now. Uh. Right. Does he need, like, gold? I guess he needs the gold, I'm just gonna give it to him. I, I don't see why else he'd do this. So I'm just gonna be a nice homie, I guess. Problem is, I can't really buy anything besides boots. Do I want boots? I'll just buy boots, why not? A little bit weird here. Yes, all the votes end up in YouTube. All the full votes are on the second YouTube channel. So if you type exclamation mark YouTube, there's two links. There's the main YouTube channel and there's the second YouTube channel. The second YouTube channel saves all the votes. She has no flash. Uh, Koopas, I could probably play more actively for it.
All right, I'm just gonna harpish his wife. Actually, I can fight him pretty easily. Okay, one more grass proc. Want to ignite him? No, not. There we go. Finally, we did the combo white and we dive him. So, who was saying something about Wukong top again? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though with all the mistakes I made, he's only 60 CS, but it's all good. We've come back in this game. We got some good skirmishes. Mid Jung was in a good position. Let's keep playing discipline from now on. The disconnect was super unlucky, but we've gotten two lucky ultimates, I would say. Genuinely, two super lucky ultimates. Uh, we got like two kills from that here, and then three kills still playing later. And now we got a solo bolo. We've been very lucky this game, I'm gonna be honest. A green lantern the only benefit you kind of have right now from patreon is coaching sessions right there are all my coaching sessions are there so that would be the biggest um benefit you get from getting my patreon and it's i guess the um the what's it called i slow them i'm gonna slow them again i'm gonna flash actually Uh, he flash ulted. And the second benefit from Patreon is the... Um, is that it's all... Um, how do you say this? I can't think of the word. Structured. Like, uh, structure is not the correct word, but basically organized. So you can see the full climbs of, like, let's say, Fiora. And you'll see all the matchups and you'll see all the elos. So instead of searching for all the VODs, you can just find it very easily in, like, the logs of Patreon. Yeah, the low phone changed. And lastly, you have... Um, and the coaching session, right? Co coaching session is by far the, the most important thing about the patron. Thank you so much, Boki Shub. I want to continue it. The, 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 um, what's it called? The feedback on the video has been really good, so I want to continue doing that, 100%. Wait, the Q slow is only when they move away from me. Really? I didn't even know that. Wait. Oh. Wait, I thought it's when they chased me too. Thank you, chat. I, I, I need to read better. I noticed that my focus isn't that, that, that like, I'm not in the, in the zone that much. It's also a little bit hot in my room, even though my window's open. Okay, let, let's, like, lock him. But this game is won again, though. Like, even though I'm not super zoned in, last two games have been going all right. Did a few shitty dives this game. Wait, Chavana's here. What? Guys? Like, are we, are we paying attention or? Okay. Didn't have to ult, but. Got the cannon. And I'll get the turret. I thought the uh, Evelyn or like the Shivana might fight back with the turret shot as well. Just wanted to be safe for her. Okay, well, I have good teammates, then the game is super easy to play as well, so that's very refreshing. Tread carefully. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Should be dead. I'm gonna move mid. Um, did I miss any questions? I don't think so. What do you think of the lethality nerfs? Well, every component is getting nerfed, right? It's not just lethality. Call of Duty is getting nerfed, Tunnel is getting nerfed, Hunting Guys is getting nerfed, Phoenix Codex is getting nerfed. Every, every component in items is getting nerfed. Heartbound X is getting nerfed. Like, Tunneler and Heartbound X are like such useless items, but they're nerfing both. Call of Duty is gonna be really weird. So right now, just for a comparison, Jeff, what they're doing is if you guys call fits, right? It gives you 25 AD and 10 ability haste, but two long swords give you 20 AD. So you get 5 AD and 10 haste from finishing for 400 gold. <clears throat> they're gonna make call fits only give 20 AD. So what happens is you get this too, 20 AD. Once you finish it, you get 20 AD and 10 haste. So you have to spend 400 gold for 10 haste. It's gonna be really weird. They're nerfing components, I guess, to counter snowballing that's also a little bit weird where can you read the change spider x on twitter i should move to my team as we flushed all 
was... I'm gonna fix Boltwave then. I hope Gragas will defend top. I think that they're there. They're also nerfing uh, Phoenix Codex. So right now this item, uh, the Fiendish Codex, it gives 35 AP, 10 ability haste. They're gonna make it only give 25 AP. Serrated Dirk gives, I think, 10 lethality, right? They're gonna make it have several lethality. So they're nerfing every component and the full items are the same. And I think their thought process is to make it so you kind of stop um, snowballing. But the thing is, if somebody's gonna have like a full item compared to only components, they're also still gonna snowball. So I I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but I don't know, we will see. She's dead. And we're chilling. That was pretty clean. What funny is all our characters you don't unrank to master? Yeah, legit though! Legit! So many champions that do unrank to master. Next patch they get nerfed. It happened with Rengar, it happened with Yorick, not with Darius though. Should have been able to save him there. If I either eat the Wukong faster or use my W on him. Definitely could have saved him. I think I can win here though. Because I'm level 14 as well to like level 10. Keep going. Uh, so I see some questions in chat about my main account. I'm thinking of sometime soon doing two weeks of only playing main account and going for like top 50. Just to just to quickly you know refresh myself, get back to top 50, and then I'm gonna do the other activities again. So I'm thinking of doing that. So yeah, I'll play main account, but it's gonna be in like steps, I guess. Yo, wifey man, good to see you. They should just have after this game's over. They'd be watching too much Azab gameplay. This guy's no flesh. One of the easiest climbs that I've done was Garen, Gwen, Camille, and Kill. And that's all because they can 1v9 with resources. Those were like... C Camille was, I think, the easiest, but that was last season, right? Camille's changed now. Maybe it'd be interesting to redo a champion like Camille as well. I want to redo some other champions that I've done before as well. But I have some other ideas of content that I wanted. There, I have so many content ideas right now, chat, that's a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit much because I want to do... Uh, the votes right and have the reaction and educational feature to that so if you see the link right there in the pinned comment above chat you can see what i mean it's a new series that's going to be on the youtube but then i also want to do how to climb on out of low elo on x champion i'm going to do those off stream so let's say you wanted to climb with more the kaiser i'd have like one game in like silver gold and platinum showcasing as like clear conceptually as possible how to climb on those type of champions i sit on this and then um, I still want to do some work on my courses. I have a Riven matchup course in mind as well. So that's a lot of um, work just on itself. Uh, so I have a lot of things that I want to record. A lot of projects that I want to work on. I'm a little bit behind because I felt overworked the past three months. But I'm really excited to be working on all these projects and having the motivation and working on it. So those are kind of the ideas. And then, yeah, we're going to go to Korea. In like two, three months, I'm going to go to Korea. And uh, yes, I also want to do other roles. There's just so many plans that I have right now and so many ideas that I want to do. But I kind of have to... Oh, wait, we should just do that, by the way. But I kind of need to, like... How do you say it? Order it, schedule it, um, make it all make sense logistically. Why are we not doing Nash? Oh.
Oh, Trixel, how was Yorick boring to watch and Shen is fun to watch? Trixel, only like a 59 year old grandpa would say that, unironically. <laughs> yeah, maybe the champion is fun. I just destroyed them so hard. <laughs> the tank item components remain unchanged, and the change to the other items will indirectly buff the tanks. True, actually, but they're, they're nerfing Bami's in there. So, Bami Sin is getting nerfed. Um, not sure if other components are getting nerfed. But Bami Sin is receiving nerfs. She's gonna take this teleport, exactly as I thought. She's gonna walk into me. No. She's gonna ego. Clean game. We were like 1 and 3. Now we're here. Can you 1v9 as Gragas top? Yes, because you can play AP, right? So, yes, you can. But I feel like a real 1v9 top laner can split push. If you're not a split push champion, you're not like a 1v9, 1v9 top laner. Does that make sense? I'm gonna go for the Terminus. I love this item so much, Oshan. You, you still get so tanky, it's stupid. We should play Nash though. Like, can, can, we, can we do Nash to close the game? Like, we should stop delaying random stuff and just close, do Nash and close the game. Do you want a matchup spreadsheet for Shen made by Challenger OTP? I mean, I could, but I think I, I, it's also interesting to figure out myself. Uh, Chairman Atero, you are right, I should. I mean, I usually for the wave clear, right? Or like, if somebody comes and I have it uh, active. Okay, let's focus here. My job would be to zone the Shivana for sure. Oh, they both got knocked up. Gragas. With the bomba. Give me that. Give me those, baby. On me. Do I get the terminus? No, we're just short. Ah, oh, whatever. I actually know they the game. No, I think we end here. one by the bomba guy all right Chad, i'm gonna do a quick uh, quick detour quick detour quick de how did i get an assist lovely all right uh, this champ is so nice if you have like at least one teammate to play with the champ feels very nice and i know you haven't played camille since season 13 but do you know why everyone's going ravenous hydra instead of titanic hydra well you always go titanic on camille for the sustain and the damage La Bomba. If you know where the La Bomba is from, you're an OG. Okay, um, let's reset this playlist. Very chill playlist. And yeah, let's go. Uh, I'll honor the La Bomba guy. Let's keep going. Let's keep it going. Yo, Roberto Carlos. Wait a second. Roberto Carlos. That name is familiar. That's in my YouTube video. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second, is that you? Wait. Wait. I was like, I know that name. Weren't you the one against the Cho'Gath here? Aren't you like the Rennington? Is this you? Roberto Carlos 10J. Roberto Carlos 1235 underscore. Is that, is that you, Roberto Carlos? Or is this just sheer coincidence? No. Okay, well that's that's a little bit of a little bit little bit of a coincidence. Little bit of a coincidence then. Alright chat, what do we watch? I need a good video to watch in Q time. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe not now. I died in hardcore Minecraft. Ten million views. What is this?
I think legit Minecraft YouTube or Minecraft content creators that die in their hardcore world, it's like a canon event. Randomly they become the most popular like um content creator. Like this guy has 15 or 10 million views on this video. So he started this and now he's two and a half million viewers for a hardcore Minecraft world. I, I find it super, super cool though. I feel like these type of videos are so entertaining though. I don't really play Minecraft anymore. I have rarely played and I would just play a new version just to see like what they added. Play against Gangplank. Do I need to change anything? I think we're good. Second wind. Oh, the setup is solid. We're gonna look to kill this guy. I can use my W against uh, Leona Q and Twisted Fate W. So that's interesting because it's auto attack. So um, that's one thing to definitely look for. Ha okay, we're finally getting like an Emerald Elo though. Like I'm getting out of Platinum. Like 20 plus games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's go full focus. We're playing against Gangplank with Grasp, which is not what you commonly see anymore. Mainly, or usually when you play against Gangplank right now, you see the uh, um, the first strike setup. And what the first strike setup Gangplank players do is they sit in this bush and they wait with a barrel. So what I like to do against... Yo, Jess I What I like to do against Gangplank players is usually guard this bush because they will very often try and sit in here. What I'm going to do... Though, actually, this is the blade is used. I want to look for a ward for the Shivana start. And then I'm going to stand in lane here to see if I can stop the Gangplank from entering a cheese position. So I'm going to ward here. Okay, well that sucks a lot. What do we go? I hope he doesn't fight me. He's corrupting start. This is the old Gangplank setup, but it's not as good as anymore. Because most of the runes that he has in his setup are nerfed. Like uh, Biscuits are nerfed and uh, Time or Tonic are nerfed. Oh yes, the music is very loud. I'm sorry chat. <clears throat> Fixed. Um, so yeah, I, I think this matchup is a skill matchup, kind of. It's gameplay favorite the longer the game goes on, because the thing which you have to memorize is, if we are even, right, if he has 100 CS and I have 100 CS, he's like 400 gold up because of his passive. So <clears throat> that's always one thing to keep in mind. Okay, maybe 400 is too, nah, it's, I mean, let's see how many he farms with this Q as well, right? But he does get a lead, so that's always one thing to keep in mind. But he's not playing first strike. Grasp is a little bit more, I guess... For lane strength as well. He's keeping his passive. But I can trade with that. Did have a passive shoot, but... I could have timed that so much better. This is good, though. There we go. Uh, I misplayed that pretty hard, though. I'm just gonna try and get my level 2 faster than him. I don't have enough energy for Q, else he'd be dead. Should have managed my energy better too. I didn't alt attack enough. 
Oh, it's all. He's lost all three potions and his flash, so regardless, even though I didn't trade optimally, because I got the medium wave priority, I was still in a good position, right? It took E second. Very nice. We get the wave to crash, which is most important. I could look to reset. He's only 5 CS. He does have more grass rocks than I do, but that's okay. One thing I gotta memorize though, chat, is that this guy is TP and I don't. But so I'm gonna do I'm not gonna reset yet because I would simply lose too many last and I give him a chance to maybe push this out. But what I would do instead, so I will stay in lane and thin out, but once he's going to reset, that's also when I'm going to reset. Okay, I can also reset right now. I won't lose much from this resetting. I'll get the XP of this melee me in, and Gangplank does not know that I've reset, right? So from his perspective, he has no idea. Now this wave is pushing pretty fast towards me, and that is because all my casters died, but his cast still stayed alive, right? So you see here that he has six casters. Okay, he's actually hard pushing, which is his correct play. He doesn't know that I've recalled, but I think he assumes that I've recalled, so him hard pushing here is definitely the correct play. If Gangplank did not hard push this, I would have a freeze here in front of my turret, right? But now with him hard pushing, it is still fine because I have maybe lost one million worth of EXP and not even that. I've gotten all the EXP and I lose nothing here, right? And I get a free reset. And that is super important when you're playing with Ignite that you really know your reset timers. By far the most... Or I would say that reset timers are probably the hardest fundamental to master because it is so situational. But you still see here, because of the decisions that I took, right? I lost 0 XP. Look, he's already lost 3 melee minions and he's about to lose a cannon minion. So regardless what the gangplank did there, if he did a slow push, right? I would get a freeze. If he hard pushed as fast as possible the way he did, I still get somewhat of a freeze. So... Yeah, the, the recall timer there is so important, and that's what puts me in, in like such a good position now, right? So that is why I will always say, chat, that your fundamentals are so important. Going to prioritize the barrel. Bro lost the mini game. Bro lost the mini game with the barrel. It's like, what? You deserve the kill, buddy. Thank you. Or, or it was just too much f f fundamentals for this guy. Too much fundamentals for that guy. I don't know. Uh, uh, Does it make sense, though, Chad? Does it make sense, though, the reset timer? Does the reset timer make sense, though? Because the reason I won my lane is that one decision to reset when the wave was pushing into me, right? That one decision there to reset after two melees is what won me my lane. You see how one reset timer can completely change the outcome of your laning phase. Look at the CS now. That's why it's so important, guys. That's why it's so important. Go for his last hit, buddy. Now we're slow pushing this wave, why slow push? To allow this next wave to walk through the lane, then we hard push that wave, we get a reset again. So you see here, whilst I'm landing, I'm only consciously thinking about how do I set up my next reset. You want to learn all about that stuff? Check out! Exclamation mark course, shameless plug, GG, but it will increase your landing phase a lot, so there's that. I'll let the mean slide, just so I get the reset guaranteed. Alright. I'm gonna recall the second bush just in case this guy wants to be annoying and try to get some me. Minus one! Haha! <laughs> Sorry. How do you end up with these items? Did she reset the butt dagger refill? That's crazy. Get into habit of positioning your sword aggressively while GP is coming back to lane. That's a really good point, Koopa. You're 100% correct. I definitely should think about my... This guy is definitely being mind controlled. Like, I was already done with the trade and then randomly there's an ultimate. This poor fellow. I think he's new on Gangplank considering he's also playing Grass.
Poor guy. I have ult here. So he's pushing into me. So I'm gonna keep put pushing into me. I can just keep my blade here aggressive, like Mr. Kuza said. And I can always ult away whilst the wave is pushing towards me. My means, yeah, my means are 2% stronger because of the level that we collectively has as a team. One level up in mid, one level up in top, so our, my means are going to be stronger than theirs. But now they're, somebody's leveled up. Their bot is leveled up, so now the means are equal strength again. See? They're both in level up against my bot so now the means are equal again. Oh. Maybe that was my Q too old. Oh well, my bad. I hit my, all my minions, so the wave is actually gonna crash now. Can I get aggro? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna drag them away from the turret, so I can still have a freeze. Nice. I still have a freeze. This is not a freeze, though. This is gonna be a slow bounce, because these casters won't stay alive, so his minion wave is not necessarily bigger now. i slow him. This guy's in panic mode. Give me that tank gold too. Boys. Jabra blade through him. And that was always good. Alright, today's going better with the Shen. Now I need to hard push as Shen. Yeah, hard push Shen. It's always tricky to hard push as Shen. And then we reset. And then we get Tiamat. And we're gonna keep snowballing. I'm gonna look to ult to bot lane now. Because if I get my bot lane in the game, the whole game is good. Everybody's winning. I need my ultimate hunter stacks. Top lane is completely won. I'm double CS. I'm three kills up. So the mindset that I have... And like one point on right now is killing I the Owen. Been able to play much this season, oh, but I you, like bro. being able to keep up with the bros. Yeah, thank you so much, Lorios. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the prime, and uh, thank you for coming by with the bros. But what I was mention, uh, mentioning is that right now I'm double CS almost, right? I'm three kills up. So um, if I ult away to bot lane right now and I get my 80 carry, 300 or 600 gold, but gangplanks get like two plates and a wave. I'm fine with that because I'm not in win condition, right? I'm a champion that wants to look to facilitate his team. And so I would be fine giving my AD carry resources and giving the gameplay resources because this guy is not really a threat or a win condition for them right now. That's the mindset I have. So with that mindset, I can anticipate my plays more accordingly too. Gonna prioritize the barrel that is level 7. In case you guys don't know, when gameplay hits level 7, his barrels come out faster. Wait, how is Shivana already bought? Oh, never mind. They died mid. Uh, so if he's hit level 7, his barrels comes out fast. If he hit level 13, it's the quickest that they can get. Well, that was a good W time by him, but I think also just luck. Not sure how worth it is to trade flashes with an ON3 gangplank, but we did it. Uh, not really worth it, I think. He just has TP. He doesn't really lose much. Yeah. Oh, well. It's alright. Uh, I need to make sure I don't give him my shutdown, though. I kind of want to try and fight him, but I'm not sure if I win. And kill him here. He doesn't know I'm here near. Buddy, buddy. Alright, nice. Should have never went for the plate. I should have recalled earlier. I put myself in a bad position. Let's say the Briar wasn't here. I would have had to recall and the gameplay gets two plate. And that's all because I wanted one plate, right? So I've wasted my time going for that one plate earlier. I can ult here. Right. Nice, I get ultimate on the stack instantly. Okay, she goes it out. What's that guy doing? Come 
Could just W as well, but you can also ult and then miss W. That works too. Well, we got three ultimate hunter stacks now, so pretty good. <clears throat> All right. Kai's has our win condition. That is pretty much it. My mid lane is strong. My jungler is strong. So we're in a super, super... Oh, wait. I didn't buy my CDR boots. I thought I had my CDR boots. Kind of want to get those ASAP. Uh, the reason I want my CDR boots is so that I can just make more plays on the map as well. Yeah, 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 Koopas. I'm going CDR boots a lot of games. I'm really going CDR boots a lot of games, I feel like. Alright, Shiko, so we get CDR boots. And I am probably going for. I'm not sure. I'll just sit on this. It goes to so many items. Well, old in 85. If anybody flames my wall up, I'm perma better. Thank you, microwaving T. In what matchups is TP better? In TP on chain is better in matchups where you don't necessarily can utilize skill pressure from Ignite. And I like going TP in matchups where you are not going to have wave control. So mainly into range matchups, right? So if you're playing against range matchups, uh, very often, because of your lack of wave clear, you cannot control the waves in those matchups because you can't just, you know, be melee range on the wave. So you go to P, so you at least always have one free out of joke card to always get back into lane. So that's kind of the reason why you go TP in range matchups. Hope that makes sense, boss. Thank you for the tier 1. And also maybe into tanks, where you don't really have kill pressure. So that you have TP later to like scale on the side lane. Holy moly, that damage. I drag my blade through him. That's why I had so much damage. Voice. Well, the games are going good today, finally. Like, last two days of Shen have been really hard. And I feel like I also had really bad teams, but this is, this is, uh, this is better. How can Shen W block gameplay Q? Well, I'm a changer player and I never knew that. What? It blocks all auto attacks. I can block Shen Q, I can block Leona Q, I can block Twisted Fate W. It blocks any auto attack. I have ult. I need Shavana Kaisa. I don't want ult for that. I think they just kill her. She does have flesh though, unless she's not running Hex flesh. Oh, I ulted the Rakan. Nah, that's my bad. Also, I think a Leona. Yeah, my bad. I ulted the wrong target. Oh, I missed like, my passive shoot there. If I live, passive. Okay. Yeah, my, uh, my ult was bad. Well, Smurf to fight nonetheless. Yeah, it's sort of so she doesn't mentally tilt. <clears throat> yeah, you can ult here, I know. I should probably utilize that more often. Yeah, I should ult here. I'll try it next time. Thoughts on Vayne nerfs? Um, it's good that Vayne is getting nerfed. I'm not sure how much it will change. I always find it very hard to see a nerf and tell you how much impact it will have because I'm not good at guessing numbers. I will know exactly how strong the nerf is once I play the game or like once I'm in game. Should have W'd. But if I'm not in game, I don't know how to really gouge how strong something is. Does that make sense? This is the last stack I need. Ignite for the stack. Yeah. I'm gonna go bot left for the tier 2. 
Right. She has to max Q f now first, other than that, there's not much of a nerf. Yeah, but I feel like as Vayn top, you were maxing Q a lot of the time anyways. So, oh. uh, I need to be more aware of my ultimates, man. I'm a piggy. The thing is, if I'm reading chat, it's so hard to be aware of ultimates. That's what I'm noticing, though, like... So it's basically your guys' fault as per usual. You guys are the reason I'm not ulting my teammates. Shen to masters has been the hardest because I'm a tank and I need to facilitate my teammates. But if my teammates are not playing too well, it's very hard to carry a game on Shen. For my perspective. Also because my playstyle in a general sense is very selfish. Uh, right? I like to get resources for myself and carry the game that way. And not play as a facilitator. So it's just new for me. Oh. What are those stacks? Uh, which stacks? These stacks? These three? These are auto attacks. When you Q, you get three stacks. Going a little deep. Go in. Bro, we could have won. Scaredy cats. I'm gonna go for this. Look, character, I can see Ellie's healthy. You know what to old. Help me out, okay? I'll do that more. Is there some range top champs besides Vayne for top? I'm not gonna tell you which ones. No, that is. I mean, you have Quinn, you have Twisted Fate right now, that's actually really good on top. Um, you always have the staple ones like Cannon, but I don't think he's that strong right now. Um, it's pretty shit, I think. Varus, Varus there as well. Alright. My Katarina is going Terminus as well. Banger. They're just 2v5-ing. I like it. Respect it. I want a tier 2 turret, but probably gonna lose it. The Baron is better, right? Tier 2 turret is 800 gold, though. Probably should have went for the 800 gold in that move here, but I'm not sure my team could have done it without me. This Baron always just deals more damage, I feel like. But yeah, we lose the local gold of the tier 2 turret. This Baron is for sure the hardest one to take down. But other champions are good for off-roll on top. Uh, I mean, there's so many things that are realistically playable on top. Um, does Nar count as range? Yeah, Jace as well, yeah. Hey, Alois, I play Vayne top. What flavor of rat poison should I have for dinner? I don't know, bro. Don't drink poison, actually. Just stay alive and suffer knowing you're a Vayne player. How about that one? How about that one? Oh yeah, you have Karma top. I mean, chat, let's stop talking about Rage top. Alright, how do we want to play out the game now? We have Baron, so there's a tier 2 on the map here, tier 2 on the map here. I'm gonna go with Bot. I wanna be in the side lane because I can always group up to my team anyways. And I can pressure the side lane against the Twisted Fate and the Gangplank. Because they're both completely out of the game. So my place belongs on the side lane and I can just always group up with my team through my ultimate. I need to keep buffing the wave, if I made a mistake here. You can clear it now. Nice. She's two items, but she's not that strong. My dread blade is here, I wanted to walk up, waiting for next wave too. I got my ultimate ready, whatever, I just look here. Where there's three bars, unless we want to make a play. I'm gonna ult him. Oh, that's all, baby. That's the Shen gameplay we want to see. Can 
Katarina finally woke up, it seems. GG! I'm not sure if we can end. I'm so low HP. She has Terminus, so she is so tanky. She just has 160 armor. And she also has this, but. Terminus makes you so tanky. Oh, no. How did that target me? Alright, well, we're getting some clean games in today, finally. 3 0 for the day. Spark was right. What a win is cute. Can you use your W before all to avoid this with a yellow card? Yes, you can. I didn't know Beetle, my man. Reserve the KDA. Like a little bitch. Alright, we're gonna keep watching this Minecraft Hardcore project. I like watching videos like this. Just people spending hundreds, maybe thousands of hours in a game is always something that I find very entertaining to watch. Mr. Einstein can get it. Good evening, Veldra. Yes, I saw Legend Chorus. That's a weird one to me. I'm not sure why they're doing it. Alright, 15 and 8. We're steadily climbing now. Platinum 1. Let's go. Alright, let's watch this. How do you even die in a hardcore world when you have a totem? Unless you die to the end. Thank you, Jonita. Good to see you, boss. What the hell? I've been playing Yorick top casually for a while and decided to start playing rank, but I keep finding myself going against counter picks like Trondo and Trinamere. How should you play against a counter pick? I recommend watching my votes from Yorick, bro. I played against Trondo, I've played against Trinamere. If you go to my second YouTube channel and you search the votes, you can find the matchups that you're looking for, and then uh, you can study how I play those matchups. And I try to be educational whilst doing so. That's so that's what I would recommend. Holy shit, man. Like, how much time do you spend making this type of stuff?
Banger. Time to your matchup. Uh oh. <clears throat> Definitely gonna go bone plating. Actually, they Q pokes me. Second wind. They have so much AC in their draft. I need Mercs this game for sure. You guys know who a good coach is? Anto, thank you for the prime, bro. Beast. That guy is good. Alright. Turn down the music. First time chat doesn't have to remind me. And I can't alt tap. Did you see the video where dudes create leak map in Minecraft? No, I haven't. We're gonna go de shoot. I'm gonna have to go into. Give me one second, chat. War or windowed, I guess. I gotta get some music on. It didn't work. Alright, uh, let's find some music to watch or to listen to, rather. I go here. Alright, let's go back to full educational gameplay. Yes, sir. Alright, chat, so multiple things to. Consider heading into this new game here together. Alright. Uh, all is good again. We play against a super strong early game jungler and a very strong early game top lane champion. Now, the funny part about this top lane matchup is that... Yo, Valve, thank you for 100, bro. Welcome. Um, is that he gets a ultimate, a global ultimate level 6, and so do I. So, this matchup doesn't really change at the level 6, which is very strange, right? Usually, doesn't work like that. Uh, Vi is a stronger early game jungler than Master Yi in the early game. I need to start lane, bro. Sorry. Just say it like that. Always say sorry and they, they'll forgive you. They'll instantly forgive you. Don't give a reason why. I never leash yet. I will never leash. I just think it's so bad to leash in League of Legends as a top laner. And, um... He's playing Conqueror Resolve and TP. So he's not that aggressive, actually. No Ignite, no Sorcery with Scorch, so... He can run out of mana, and uh, yeah, he has TP, right? So I have the Ignite Advantage here. Now, as per usual, chat, even though Pantheon is such a strong early game champion, I am going to look for priority. Every losing matchup can become winnable. I check his item too, D-Blade. All right, now we have all the information I need to start playing this game. Drag my blade through him. He's avoiding it very well. Good trade. I have D-Shoot second wind. He has D-Blade, so I like this equal trade. So now, this health trade has been good for me. He has the priority though, so I'm gonna be careful here because he's gonna hit his level 2 first. When he has all his stacks like this, he has his passive. His next ability that he uses is empowered, so I gotta always be wary of that. He's gonna flash here. And I was predicting the flash. And I live with 1 inch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tilted. I think I could have done another auto attack if I just spaced better. I thought he would die. Well, that happens. It's okay. The ideas were good. Played for my level 2, got the all in. I had the ignite advantage, looked for equal health traits. But he has TP, so he's back like a piggy. And Vice passing into top because I haven't seen her do blood buff. So we're in a world of trouble now, chat. We are in a lot of trouble. And this W was wasted. I'm gonna get Genki in a second. So I'm just gonna trade. And I hope I can get some. Priority before Vi is here. Vi is going to be here any second. He's 12 Kong. I'm dead. If I dodge. Uh, I griefed. He's gonna have to push though if he wants to reset, or he should insta reset. Okay, him pushing is good for me. His best play would be to just insta reset, but he doesn't see it. He should insta. I should buy Ruby Crystal too. I shouldn't buy Long Sword. I'm griefing as well. Whatever. We gotta run because I can maybe get a freeze because he's pushing. He should reset. The boy was pushing towards him, so I'm lucky here. I'm lucky. He lived with 1 HP. He was lucky. Now he's pushing when he should reset, so I'm lucky. Sucks. Could have played that way better, 100%. I was just super scared of the Vi gank. 
So I kind of felt mentally pressured that should just there, there were so many things I could have done better. Chat first of all, I should have killed the Pantheon on the first all in, and then the second thing is, um, what's it called? I shouldn't. I should have just played with the wave and played slower. But the benefit of that the Pantheon pushing is that he lost three melees on the cannon, but he also gets a kill on the Massey here. Well, we're super far behind, but. We've been behind before. The thing is, we're not super far behind. Even though he has two kills, we haven't really lost CS. So in terms of XP, we are still fine. D Blade would have gotten you the level two kill. That's true. I use all his abilities. All right, that's aggressive. Well, that's very aggressive then. He doubled down. Triple down. What is he doing? Is he trying to mind control me? I'll give it to the master. You kidding? What do you think I am? We slow push this wave, hard push next. Why did he like he, he placed a pink court, and then he was like, you know what? It looks like a mistake, but he will make it seem intentional. So he's gonna place down three more. I see. I see. I should have given that kill to Messi, huh? Yeah. Oh well. I'm a piggy. Bro is worth maxing. I'm not sure what that was about. Okay, we can buy Bami Cinders and Boots. I hope he doesn't cancel me. I would cancel him. Okay, that's that. <coughs> we can't hold this. Good. This would be a timer to look for an ult because the boy is pushing back into me, so I'm losing nothing. But probably no play here. Alright, we're in a good position. Mid lane's going good. I think if I E here, I get the freeze, maybe. Also because of the boots. I have ult here. I'm gonna freeze the wave, and then I can always ult to the Master E. Yeah, we get a freeze. Massive, we're gonna drag the wave more towards the center. So it's easier to hold it here, because then... It's not as close to the turret range. I am way stronger than this guy right now. He also has no potions, as I have two. So any health rate that I do is beneficial for me. He slowed. My Q actually went through him. Crazy. Yeah, well, massive. And that's the thing as well with Shen, right? You go buy me Cinders and matchups where you'll be trading a lot. Because you just get HP and you have enough base damage. Almost any tank has that, like, Poppy, Orn, these type of champions that just have enough base damage. Like, you just get buy me Cinder and you can still skirmish so hard. Now we're good. Alright, we had a rough start. Now we're in a good position again. We're slow pushing this wave, chat, to allow this next wave to walk through the lane, but now I'm gonna start pushing, because as a champion with Shen, I'm already pushing now, but I'm still not gonna be too fast, and that's simply because I just have no wave clear, right? So I already push now, and then by the time I'm done pushing this wave, you see now the wave walks through the lane, now I can push this, and I can set up my reset. So you basically want to be a little bit faster with how you do it. I always Q first and then E in, that's a... Let's stop doing that, it's E into Q, wait, am I dying? This W came back. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's a head scratch. I don't know what to say. 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 At least the way he's slow pushing it to me, but he does have old. He's gonna push it. I'm a pig. I'm a pig. I'm a pig. 12.45 top. This font is still so weird, man. He flash ulted. Good. Wait, I just blocked for you, bro. You shouldn't queue like that. Holy moly, what's going on here? Draven. Oh, Draven! Baby. We have four to five now. That was a nice one. That was a full ghetto, bro. This was like, uh... Okay, I won't say what I'm thinking about. But it was a full ghetto, bro. I gotta push this wave, though, because it crashes to my turns and now it's slow bouncing back, so... The wave's in a terrible position, but hey. That skirmish was absolutely amazing. 
I like how the Vi like Flash stood still for a second and then all she was like, hmm, do I do it? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, this guy TP'd. That didn't hit. Look at that damage. That was one auto attack out of three. Ooh, the timing. Mad. Okay, let's recall. I'm not gonna int again. I'm gonna buy Tabby's shit. Alright, Tabby's will make me never die against the top side anymore. I'll be super tanky, I'll be faster. He has tier 1 boots. He is very close to Eclipse though, so that's what I can keep in mind. I gave him a shutdown earlier. I think we're somewhat on equal strength, but I always have Ignite in a 1v1. Not Mercs. I'm gonna go Sterox for the Terrasty. Yeah, let's go Sterox. We go uh, Titanic to Sterox. Why is Regina Hypish's wave? Maybe get a plate? I think he's recalling because he's so close to his Eclipse, so... That'd be my assumption here. Right, then by pressing tab and knowing his items, I kind of also know how he wants to play, because he only needs 500 gold for an Eclipse. He doesn't have ult yet, I believe. Looks like we can just get a plate for free. I can bluff as if my jungler is here, it would probably scare him. He doesn't know where my jungle is at, right? So he feels scared to fight me. With the Eclipse, he's hard to kill now, though. Because that cooldown is pretty low. I'm just going to help with the grubs, get some XP, get some gold. Still Ignite. Not old. Well, I don't know, Talia was uh, just free hitting, I guess. It was also 4v3, not the best fight. Not the good odds for us. How the and waves? Very bad. Hello guys, good. Hello. Thank you, Boot is back for the tier 110 month. Thank you so much. I just got mastered on the day server, but I feel like I should just leave it there. I'm not streaming, I think it takes way much time to get Challenger thoughts. Well, yeah, the, the, the skill difference between Master and Challenger is, is absolutely massive. It's like Bronze to Diamond, something like that. Well, yeah, probably Bronze to Diamond, it's like Master Challenger, somewhat. Right? Like Master P2 Challenger. It's a very big grind. But that's a personal decision that you have to make. I can't make that for you, but... Nice. This game should have been in a better spot. I just died too many times. Well, I died twice random. We got five grubs though, we're in a good spot. There's one grub remaining. Why is Titanic Hydra the only auto or Hydra that auto resets? Not sure. You can use Ravenous in combos, though. Talia gets hard countered by Katarina, but she is really swerving it. We're gonna proxy this wave. I don't think anybody's here. If you buffer your E, you can still kind of like buffer CC like that, so we're chilling. We got this item now. And uh, we're gonna go Sterox next, because they have so much CC, right? This W, this E, his W, so we need Terrasty. And since we've got Tabis, the only option for Terrasty now is Sterox. I'm old in 10. I need to stack on Talia. Yeah, she's the only one that hasn't died, so that makes sense. And uh, preferably, chat, I wait till level 11 before my ult because 
the cooldown is gonna go get significantly lower, right? If I'm level 11. All right. Next one will get me level 11. But if I need to ult before, I will ult. It's good damage. I don't need to kill them. Next rotation, I can kill them. I didn't need to use Ignite even, I think. We can get the last grub. I don't know where Talia is at. The one thing I gotta be wary of is that my Bami Cinder is gonna pop turret aggro here. Oh, I missed. That was an awkward miss. Well, still good. I have ult, so I'm just gonna keep it to my Timmy. What can I build with Driven to defeat Jorik? Just go full damage. You go full damage and you destroy him. Especially early. Uh, we gotta get Sterox, like I said. Right. This is a bad ult. It's 2v4 again. One more baby. Oh. She has completed her item, so she's gonna get a shield here. Yeah, there it is. That's my last stack. I have passive shoot. There we go. Gonna drag my blade through her. She can one-shot me almost. Massive. Massive, massive. Oh, she flashed. I'm greedy. Whew. She flashed. Okay, massive. Massive, 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 massive. We can carry this game. Wait, I need a little bit of gold. I have my item, so I'm gonna ping it. I'm sorry, Kata, but I'm gonna take your wave. I mean, she wouldn't get it anyways. There we go. Okay. Okay. Pantheon flashed and smaller flashed. Massive. We got our second item now. Chad, I think I'm... I'm think... I'm thinking about something, okay, listen, hear me out, okay? Petu said sometimes you have to let them take over and you build Terminus Shen, okay? Okay. I've olden 60, I have all my stacks now, I'm level 11, I'm in a good position. Oh, rep of slow. Please win. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. Ah, your goes back fast. I'm an idiot. I didn't know she was already that close to me. That should be a kill as well. She's lucky. Oh, well, we're good. What's going on here? Three people mid, smolder dead. Fountain is there too. Yeah, I get this actually. Uh, they're gonna get dragon. If smolder shows. Uh, no, but everybody's recalling. Oh, they do get the third dragon. What are you doing? That guy was for sure not watching his screen, by the way. It's like sending your mom a message on Facebook or something. I'm just poking, just poking. Okay, nice. We get this now. Oh. I'm dead as well, aren't I? I have Sterox, but... 
Bro, Swolder isn't even here and we're losing, by the way. We still need to fight. We still need to fight. Come on. Draven is farming mid. Holy moly, what did I just witness shit? Did you did you see my ADK? Did did it happens? It happens, it happens. No, we shouldn't fight for the dragon, I guess. Smolder will stop the whole duration. My Draven didn't right click a single one. I don't know. Well, it's a hard game. Pa Pantheon is randomly extremely fat. He got like all the kills there. Oh, this guy is super fat now. He just goes AFK. One minor inconvenience and goes AFK. Alright. One tiny inconvenience and the Draven main has had enough. I don't know. Let's focus on ourselves. Can we the cannon? All good. This game is really winnable, but yeah, my team needs to perform. Oh, we did disconnect. Welcome back. Draven legit DC at like the most unlucky time this game, though. I got me unblocked. Unlucky. I don't know why we're forcing there. Sucks. Yo, Kakaifu, welcome. I know I'm so strong, but uh, it's hard to carry. I need magic resist next. I like uh, this or something. I have no magic resist against Italia and Maokai. Please, Massey, do a miracle. Like, shit the, shit the Baron still, please. Ruffy McToffy. Well, Shen, you play. <laughs> you played on your side, you have to be strong. Come on, bro. Shut up. Well, Shen, you played on your side, you have to be strong. <laughs> My bad, I guess. My bad, man. I'll try to do a little bit more than like split push tier 2, do everything, beat my matchup. It's a fat shot down this one. Nice. Terminus split push, baby. I think I keep pushing. I think I keep pushing. This is the split push. The split push end. We win the one we want super easy with Terminus and I even had Starox. Wait, we did get the previous dragon by the way. How did we get that dragon? So they're not actually on soul point. They're gonna reset by the way. They were so low HP, so they're resetting. They're not on soul point yet. This game is winnable. This game is very winnable. I get magic is now too. Okay. Or do I just go for this? I'll go for this. Moha, your brother backs. This guy just needs to die. 
I'm almost level 16 too. But my mid and jungle, like, I hope Katarina finally has her second item. Because she's been sitting on this for, like, the past five minutes. So she should have it, I think. She has a full item here. No, she just has a blasting wand. That's depressing. I'm gonna push this wave if I can. Does he have 209? Well, he's almost enough. He's gonna have Elder. We hard lose this. Yeah, you don't have to be Einstein to see that, I think. My ultimate is dead still, I think. I don't know why we fight. Like, we're not fighting the dragon, and then we fight there. There's just zero sense in the gameplay. Oh well. There is a tiny gap in some of the rolls. My Draven typed this and goes, wait, how did I type that? I don't know. Do you guys, my, my teammates are like AI generated or actual humans? I have Sterox. Ye? Ye? Ye! Oh, get me out. I'm oh, sorry. I have, I've seen too much this game, man. Oh, too much this game. Too much this game. Too much this game. AI oh, yeah, generated mastery. We defend this turret. My team is are completely griefing. I know. What do you expect from a Yeet Yumi ASMR? Yeah, and then we have Gwen feed picks on the Katarina. Also not performing too hot. But it's fine. I had to be strong this game. Ah, uh, Chad, it's beginning again, it's happening again. This is what a lot of our Shine games have looked like. Oh, this flash was bad. Puts me a little bit deeper, but not deep enough. I don't know, she died through my ult. Even the smolder is faker now. He was like 3 and 8. Now he's 10 and 8 because he just scaled. He's got the skill for free. Remember that I killed smolder like I think 4 times in a row in the sideline chat. I genuinely think I killed that guy 4 times in the sideline. But like... I, I am again Shen with the highest skill participation. The highest CS. The highest level. But I'm a stupid Shen so I can't do shit. I mean I can't, I can't carry these piggies. It's too hard. What if we declare Shen a support and we go next challenge with an actual top laner? Yeah, Shen is an interesting one. Not. This is why I generally want to refrain from playing tanks. And also, Shen is a top laner without wave clear, right? One of the two top laners without really wave clear in this kit. Like Tom Kench and Shen are like the only top laners without any wave clear. I don't know. This guy's still in the recall. He's sitting on like 3k gold, 4k gold, unironically. Well, well, well. Said by Petu, top is the worst role for Shen right now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know why we went Shen. Maybe I actually just made a mistake playing the champion. I don't have ult. Oh, GG.
I think I killed him by giving him AoE. I need Malkin to- I don't know. I don't know. We're still in the game though. ASAP save me! I can't defend this tier 2. It's useless anyways. We get one chance to defend the soul. Lucas items, she has 4 now, or he, whatever. You can't grab your E. Ah, oh, well, I'm fine. GG. Oh no. <clears throat> we did our best. It was a Ruffy McToffy. This climb might take really long. Bro, if I'm not like halfway to Masters after 50 games, I'm, ta I'm calling it quits by the way. But the thing is, chat. I made a lot of mistakes this game, giving my shutdowns back to Pantheon. I I could have played way better myself. Even though my teammates were really shit, I still made a lot of mistakes myself in the early game. That even put Pantheon in the game. Look at the damage. I have the same damage as both of my carries combined. Or more than my jungle and like i have more than these two combined i almost had the same amount of gold as my mid and jungle combined and this guy told me to be strong i can't do much more this game i'm just not the 1v9 champion <clears throat> all good let's watch this to just calm and chill This guy just has a perfect recollection of everything that happened in this world or what? Yes, Ergot can 1v9, yes. Because he can split push team fight, all that stuff. I feel like this item is so broken though, when you have like a totem, like even though you die, you can't really die, so like hardcore is not as impressive. You, you can just kinda always have a second chance. I think Camille was my easiest climb. Okay, skip. Bro. I won't mention already blessed with. Nothing.
I can't even imagine how much more or how much work this must have taken. Okay, I guess you can just dupe. Bro, the panic in his voice. Okay, I actually almost died. Alright, uh, if I lose one more game, I might just go to the main account for the rest of the day and then play a few games on the main account. Have you ever played Bad Wars? A little bit. That's on Hypixel, right? Bad Wars? I played it a little bit, not that much though. Starting to play much more rough waves mid though and trying to really think about win conditions. Thank you. You started the season 4 and 12 and now it's 65 win rate right about to hit diamond. Well done, Prantis QQ. Well done, bro. Happy to read that. If doubles. anybody flames my wall, I'm perma banning. Bandit Jimmy, thank you for the primer. Thank you for the 12er. Appreciate it. Do you think having 130 ping can affect my climb? Yes. <laughs> oh, this matchup is toxic, I think, chat. This is not the matchup I was looking forward to. But we're going to go with Ignite. Elao is actually a pretty weak early game champion. And we are going to abuse the living shit out of that. Okay, chat? We're going to go and win the lane early. And let's go. Hello, what's good items for Riven? Uh, here I have a guide for you, Brotherhood. However, it still needs to be updated a little bit, but it's still relatively, relatively accurate. Okay, let's go. In game we go. If anybody flames my wallop, I'm perma banning you. Thank you, Pil Bilbus, for the primer. Yes, Koopas, that makes sense. I can see your point with that, but I still would want to climb more before I take, uh, before I, like, I talked with Petro today, if we should do, like, the coaching today, or, like, a little bit further down the line. Of course, he's going to struggle less. With bad teammates because he knows all the limits of Shen. He, he's a way better Shen player than I am, right? So that makes sense, but. Yeah. <clears throat> Go fleet Nimbus into Alawi, it's insane. I, I think this works now. What is this song? Here you go. Alright, we're gonna hard focus on this game. I, I'm done, I'm done losing. I, I'm genuinely done losing. This climb is gonna take forever if we don't start going on a fat winning streak, so let's do that. Let's go on a fat winning streak, chat. We've had enough. I've had enough. Alright, I'm gonna get a ward on against Kane, but Kane players very often start out enemy raptors, or like at their own raptors, right? So I'm gonna get a ward down here, but it's just a process of elimination, knowing that he doesn't start here. Where do you do this in my YouTube review games? It's in the VOD se uh, section in Discord. There's a channel called VODs, that's what you said. I'm gonna put my Blade Aggressive and let's stand back here. She's playing Conqueror Resolve. I wanna check a starting item and then depending on how she approaches, I want to try and get my level 2 first and look for a solo kill in the early game chat. My Sinzao's path into top, so that's good. She has a corrupting start. I want to play aggressive in this early game. Got our bone planting out, very good. Didn't take any aggro of the minions. So if she walks forward here, I'm going to try and zone her from the minions worth of XP. Look, Zoninger from EXP, getting the EXP myself, which is extremely good, because EXP snowballs way harder than gold, so I got all the EXP, she lost 2, maybe 3, and now we're in an absolutely amazing position, I'm gonna play from level 2, look to all in her, and I like my position a lot. It's very good that she queued only a low HP castle, let's say she queued the entire wave here, the wave would push into me, so the wave would push into me and she would be down in the EXP, but I'm gonna wait, 
as long as I can for these last hits. You see, I'm trying to really last hit at the latest frames. And now, what you guys see, actually, is that this wave is pushing towards me because she killed the wave there, too. And I'm only lasting the latest frame. So now she's level 1, I'm already level 2. But the wave is already pushing towards me. So you see here, she has just hit the level 2. But this wave is still pushing towards me. I'm gonna hit my level 3 while, she, while still at level 2. And she's continuously looking, or is forced to walk for last hit, you see here, right? So we're in an absolutely amazing position here. And this is one of the few tricks that you can utilize in the early game to completely dumpster your late opponent. If you land your E, that is. She's still at level 2, although she should be. Or level 3, rather. Right, look, we hit level 3 at the same time. Look how much means I have extra, right? To farm. With honor. I'm gonna throw out the wave here. She's never gonna hit level 4, I will, but I need to clear the entire wave before getting it. She's only 5 CS as well. No bone plenty right now, she will not hit level 4. Normally she would get level 4 from one caster. Not this game. And I wanna back off. Dodge the E, please. She could base DP, and then I'm kind of stuck right now. Her best play would be to base DP. Since I just have to gank, stop farming, gank here. The issue I have is I can't really set up my own recall now, because I don't have TP. Since I was to do it, I can't really help. I gotta dodge this Q. I can't dodge that. Okay, stop, 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 don't hit anything. She has two extra casters, we're in an amazing position. I can get this, and I still like my position a lot, so nice. I'm gonna wait for potion. Yeah, let's go. I go Bobby Cinder so I have wave clear and so that I can trade more actively with grass stacks. Allow me shoot TP because of the two extra casters that stayed alive. This wave is actually pushing towards me. So we're, we're in an amazing, amazing position. She TP'd. That's good. She didn't flash. This guy did flash. Um, she went longsword dagger, which I think is a mistake. Well, let's see. You're welcome, the Autumn King. Alright, we're gonna have to let this crash. She just hit level 5, so I'm gonna see how much EXP extra I have after crashing this full wave, and then I can kind of see when we're gonna hit, like, level 6 compared to her, right? She's gonna take turn, I go right here for two shots at least. Is that a kill? Wow. Well, she just hit level 5, I'm gonna be 5 and a half at least after this wave, after the solo kill. Yeah, she just got tagged by my E after landing E. A little piggy. Chat, I gotta slow push this wave because Shen has no wave clear, right? Riven could hard push this wave and crash, Shen cannot. So with Shen, you gotta slow push, wait for this next wave to walk through your lane, and that's the wave you hard push. However, whilst the wave is coming towards me, I am pushing it already. So that right now, once I'm done clearing this, you see next wave is gonna walk through the lane right now. So now I can start, like, finish it and hard push next wave. We have done the Darius on to Masters, I still have to post it because I have to still play some of the lower elo games, but I'll be doing that off stream. I want to hard focus on just getting the wave in. I don't need to trade with the Lao here. I just want to get the wave in and get my re Oh. That is lucky. Missing some crucial ease. Alright. I can risk all here. I've seen your set, Olds, by the way. Okay, I'm sorry, I guess, for breathing. You can find the votes on Darius on the second channel chat. If you type exclamation mark YouTube, right now, just type YouTube here, I'll do it. Second link is the vote channel, all the Twitch votes are there. So, check it out, make use of it, and subscribe if you haven't. Looking vascular today, let's take you bro with that knife, I appreciate it bro. Alright, let's focus here. She just hit level 6, she's used one potion. There's a plant currently in River Chat that spawns at 6 minutes, so I don't want to trade too much with her, because she can always get to the plant first, because she has priority right now. She's gonna look for an E. Turret shot hit. Watch that shit. And get a little piggy. Oh, nice. She's playing too aggressive under my turrets. And this is another example, right? You see how I only built health, but still kind of one-shot there? That's the benefit of most tank champions in the game, right? Because tanks just have so much base damage. Um, no, the next champion, I want to do either Jace or Gangplank, or maybe Trindamere, or, or like Olaf. I want to do full carry champions next, after playing a tank. Um, 
What else was I going to mention? She, we're even in CS, and that is because every time I've killed the Alawi, she died on her turn, right? She died after crashing the wave close to my turn. So even though the Alawi has died three times now, she's actually not that far behind in the game because she never died on like a super bad turn. Does that make sense, Chat? Nice E dodge. Q dodge. Her Q sustain her too, so don't let her hit any abilities. She wants the cannon, right? Everybody wants the cannon. Oh. Ignite. Drag my Q through him. I'm gonna bait him to keep fighting me. Get my passive shoot. He has no flash. I'm too tanky, baby. And this is why you built... The Zoe is pushing into me, I can reset. This is why you built HP on Shen. To stat check your opponents. Because you don't need AD because of the base damage in your kit. You need health so you can keep stat checking. Now we're gonna team up for the wave flare though. Because now I'm already so far ahead, like... We're, we're just winning now. Now, we want this game. Good, we can keep going. Like, the thing is, it's a challenge, but... I think I'm also blaming my teammates too much as to why I'm stucking. I think I'm also just playing my champion incorrectly. Like, I need to learn to play my champion mechanically a lot better. So this feels really good. Nah, I don't think Hearts of the Shed is that good. Yes, I did unreacted masses with Jax, but I did it last season. So, it, uh, eyes are outdated. But yes, if you go to my YouTube channel, there's a playlist. Oh, sorry, chat. So, sorry, chat. What's this song? Hello, shut up. This song is a little bit weird. Okay. Dodge the E. Dodge the Q. Dodge the tentacles. Drag the blade through this little piggy. Get a flash. Get level 9. Q. Nice. GG. Alright, very happy with this gameplay. Our wills align. No, it's just one song in this playlist is a bit weird. So I always gotta skip that song, you know what I mean, chat? You're playing your group, but you actually need to stay silent instead of grouping and force a 5-4, which are R after they have, they have to answer your pressure. Yeah, I could be playing side lane more efficiently, maybe. But it feels hard to process on side lane, or progress, because I, I don't feel like I can really kill my opponents with Chen on side lane. I mean, I should have ulted faster. I should have ulted faster so I get two ultimate hunter stacks. Okay. Worth. CDR, but it's broken. Okay. Um. Oh, there was a turret shot chasing me. What? Um. Was I gonna say anything? I don't think so. Let's just keep going. This game is going amazing. I want to keep up. Pressure, but my entire team is playing well, so refreshing. We just keep the pressure up on this Alawi, and we still win the game. He's dead again. Yeah, I want you to start rolling on this champion. You one shot people, though, so that's good. Now I want to play for some plates. Their only wing addition could be a scaling already, so that's really it. We're gonna E. There we go. Oh, Kane could be on Grubs actually. Maybe I should have checked that faster. Level 11 here. Yeah, he is on Grubs. Shit. Oh, I got the auto off during his ult. Jungle got bigger than my anus. Now we're getting cocky, though. We're doing it, though. 
Alright. Now we just need to not drop the ball and not start inting and then this game is free. And let's keep doing it. No, shield bash is, is, is really good because it procs with every passive stack, so it's it's so good. I, I, y y you know you could consider demolish, you get more split push pressure, I was thinking about it, but I do think that shield bash is just too good. Like, all three of these are just so good. It as well for your shields, but also for your ultimate passive. I don't know. Alright, let's keep going. This game should be in the bag. My jungle is really fat. I have a Shen that can always empower a Sin Zhao. He's probably going to second as well. Or the Vine. Actually, no, because uh, Sundar Sky, right? But we're both super, super strong. And she has Tabis now. I'm going to prep my Q. So I have three Q stacks right here. I just don't think she has enough damage. Wow, that was a... It just doesn't matter anymore at this point how I play. Even if she lands everything and I miss everything, because we're 10 and 1, right? So we just outstat check. But I played that horrific. That's alright. Game should be over. Absolutely over. The Kane also played. Aurelian Soul's not allowed to get kills. Okay. Reflashed. Kane played topside most of this game, and I killed him topside, I think, three times. And. Uh, Bob McFree win. And my jungle played bot lane the whole game, so he shot down their bot lane, got dragons. They got grubs, but. Uh, it's fine. Mm, I'm gonna go Sterox. Hi Alois, I just demoted from Plat 1 to Gold 1. Any tips to get it back? Also love your videos. Um, are you tilting? If so, first thing would be to not tilt, right? But it's very easy to say, easier said than done. But uh, tilt is, plays one of the biggest roles in that. And then I would say don't play random champions for fun. Stick to one role and, and try to blame... like. Try to internally accept where you are at right now. So don't have like an ego position where you're like, ah, I was split one before. I'm playing against these gold scrubs now, you know. Try to internalize that right now you are where you belong. So you're gold right now because you belong in gold. And then from there, you kind of relieve the mental pressure and you can only go up. Those will be my advices. That can be hard though. But I find myself in a similar shoes. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing so well on this account uh, that compared to any other accounts that I've had. But I want to blame my team, but at the same time, I also need to look way closer at my own gameplay as to why it's not going so well for me right now. Yeah, I saw it, uh, Power Filter. But Power Filter, I do need my teammates to at least play half decent in, in a lot of scenarios like that, right? But yes, you are right, okay, right? Let's keep going. I can I can play Shen a lot better than I'm currently doing too. And even though I kind of feel like quitting, I should embrace this challenge because it's a tank. A lot of people have asked me on how to climb on tanks and a challenge is not a challenge if it's easy, right? So I should strive to have a harder challenge. There we go. Oh, Sen, I get some 1k at all. It shouldn't be easy. Oh, I'm giving everyone a shot down. She got two 1k shutdowns. Okay, let's end clean. I don't want to play against Senna, I really soul scaling. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm a pig. MB. With little adjustment of how you play, I believe you can still have 80% win rate as Chantil Masses. Yes. I agree, Kupaz. And thank you also for the pointers. Nice Grifter. Play objectives and clean. 
All right. Let's not make a mistake like that again. Alright, I have my ult at 40, I still need Aurelian Soul and yeah, it's Senna. She has two items because she got literally 2k gold from the fight. I'm pushing out the side wave, I'm gonna have my ult in 30. I'm gonna communicate it to my team. I think Kane is dead from... Yeah. Okay, uh, allow his bot, that kind of sucks a little bit. But then I'll just play for the top tier 2 and my team can send somebody bot. I don't think anybody is here. Kane can come in 10 seconds, but it's pretty late. If I get this, it's pretty massive. Okay, that's our uh, TP from the, the Lowry. Um, so what do we all play for right now? Um, I'm actually gonna go bot. Actually, never mind, I'll go top. Never mind, you can go bot, I guess. I think I go Terminus again. I just like this item. It feels good. It gives me a little bit more carry potential. It gives me more dual potential. Like these three items, right? If this was a terminus with this and this, like my side lane potential is crazy. I'm still super tanky. I like it. All right, let's keep pushing. I have ult. Two items on my Sinzao. Oh, they're not in need for an ult immediately. Maybe I should also use my ult aggressive there though, but my team was kiting away. So I don't feel like I could have gotten an aggressive ult off there. I feel like I use my ult sometimes a little bit too defensive. But again, I don't see how I could have gotten an aggressive ult because my teammates were all running away. But maybe I can communicate to them to go in. I'll get half the turn here at least. Old. It's all right. She might path here. There is no dispute. Is that enough? Yes, sir, baby. I'm not gonna ult for that. Because I can get the food here too. He's gonna flush. Okay. Oh, we should go dash. We should go dash. Can we, though? Is it the hard dash? It is the hard dash. I'm not sure if we can do this. This Baron deals just geez, so much damage. I probably have it. Okay, I mean, now we have this. Unless Kane does a magical steal. There's still all the tier 2 turrets to play for, so that's what we're gonna do now. I got level 16 as well. I th believe I should go top. Because... <laughs> look at my items. How cursed does this look? It's like I'm playing TFT. There's a random Bami Cinder on my bench. There's two random... Uh, look, I'm playing TFT, guys. Isn't this like the most TFT build you've ever seen? Oh, good though. Why are there more types of Nash? Um, yeah, I don't know. They just invented that in Season 14. Season 14 invention. Alright, we're gonna play for this tier 2. It's pretty low HP. He allows the flash. Why is recalling? She should TP somewhere on the map at the same time. Nah, Dragon is one one minute, and that is why I wanted to be top, so I can pressure the sideline, play for the tier 2, but also pressure Dragon. I hate what my teammates are doing, because now Hawaii is on the map, and now since I was recalling, everybody's going like one by one. 
Stay on map. Yeah. Smaller scale. Oh, if he walks up, I'm scared. There should be other people then. She has only 170 stacks. That's not a lot. I have ult in 15. I guess nobody was here. I think the Lucian was bluffing because there's three people mid. Only Arin or Elawi isn't accounted for, but they're coming in top side here. I can take the turret under his nose with Titanic as well. Oh, you're just a greedy piggy. So am I. I'm killing this Senna though. She forgot about the Sterox. Little piggy. They always forget about the Sterox. Nobody expects Sterox on Shen. I'm just gonna recall. I don't think I can do much more here. I'm gonna buy this. Alright, we should get a Dragon 2. We get a Tier 2 here as well. We got double kill. Bro, 15 kills Shen. Only 3 assists. That's a weird... Remember chat, Revitalize increases the shoot of your Sterox and your ultimate too. That's always a nice interaction. The mid tier 2, I don't want to ult here as a defensive too, I think she's dying is like whatever. I have ult. Show shoot bash damage, there you go. 1k. I don't want her to get a tier 2 here, I'm gonna move here. She has Terox. I can clear her entire wave here. Nice, I'm gonna let the mean skill the uh, turret. She doesn't get the actually if 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 uh what's it called? The grubs got the turret, she does get the gold. It's a thing. If your grubs kill the turret, she actually does get the gold. I'm not sure who killed the turret or the means or the grubs. This guy's getting his stacks though, right? 190, 25, it seems late. Could be wrong. How do I optimize my build here, chat? I'm level 18. What item should I build? Did I just build this? I think it's fine. Lucian has zero damage build. There's six levels above that jungler. I'm inting. I'm griefing. That's not how we win the game, Alois. You're right. I'm B. <sighs> I don't know how we can't end this game, but I, I struggle to close games on my champion. Like, I can't really siege. I can't really, like... So, so here is a few issues that I have with Shen, okay? When I'm fed. I have single target damage. I have zero AoE. Like, zero AoE damage on Shen, right? I don't really have split push potential because people can just clear waves. And I like, the only way I kill them is if I land these. So I kind of like bait them to fight me. And so many team fights and stuff like this. I just gotta be more patient, I guess. I just play for this and this. But I gave Bolt McFree win a, a 1k shot and now that's, that's just not good. Ilawi did get the tier 2 turret gold, else she would never have this much items. This is a joke. Okay, decent. Yo, as a thank you for boss man. I still need to teach the or to learn the ways of never FF. But thank you so much, man. Thank you for the rate. Appreciate it. 
Wait, Petu, you were joking about Terminus! No! Thank you to, for the T1 Azep. Guys, if you don't know who Azep is, he's an absolute wholesome, amazing content creator. Mainly plays Movement Spin Tank, Valkos, Hawaii. He's the inventor of NoFF culture. Absolute amazing creator. Go check him out. Um, hope you're doing amazing, bro. Oh, Wait, Petu! Are you are you actually kidding about Terminus? I'm I building this item so often, I feel like I actually get side lane presence. What else do I build to this champion, man? I'm winning side lane because of because of Terminus. You said demons take over, you go Terminus. Well, guess what? I went on a low streak. Wait, how is this a joke? You set me up. Hello? Look at the Terminus damage here. Look at it, look at it. That's all Terminus. You see my attack speed? Okay, time to run. I want to play for Dragon. That's all Terminus. Look at that. 300... De it's maybe shit. Oh, it's pretty shit. Anyways. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. Okay, Q delaying. My Q stacks are running. Please walk up. Piggy. Alright, we get the soul here. She has Sterox, so I gotta be a little careful. What else was a joke then, Mr. Petu? I mean, building Sterox pretty, pretty, pretty reliably. I hope that wasn't the joke. No, but the Sterox actually feels good. When you said people never expect it, that's genuinely how I feel. People never expect Shen to have Sterox. They never anticipate for the extra shield. Why is my Morgana bot lane with me? That's a good question. King Jockey, my recommendation. What, why are we not doing Nash team? Like, what, what, what are we doing? Kane and Aurelian Solar both. Like, what, what? Do it. There was two people both, man. What else do you need? Do you need me to hold your hand? Ask permission from Mother if we can do Baron in this game. How can we close this game? We're 14 to 13 kills, but we can't end the stupid game. Because I'm Shen. Sorry. Do I just sell this? No, I can't buy anything. I'll sit on this for the time being. My problem with this Anybody champion, right? Hip FL, David Prime. Prime. Even though I'm 15 kills, I only have single target damage. And in split push, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm like a little piggy. I just want to push wave and join a team fight. I don't want to like actually keep pushing. But my team leave me no choice. And they're scaling with Senna already in Soul and Kane as well. I just hope we can end. I'm not gonna get much stronger than this. Terminus is at full, full potential at the moment in the game. That guy is good. Holy Justin, thank you for the prime. I'm not sure, Morquen. I have ult here. Do I need it? I don't think so. I think the cane is just alone. So I'm gonna keep pushing. Nice. Maybe we can finally win the game, chat. Maybe, right? Terminus! Terminated! Wait! Terminated! Look at the shoot. Not the Terminus? Oi! He's cheating. He had flash. That's cheating. Wait, now we maybe don't end. And that would be my fault. I'm a pig. Why did I do it? Why did I do it, chat? Why did I do it? Why did I do it? Oh, please end. Smolder, it's all you. Smolder, time to shine. Get that little dragon. You're the better dragon. Okay, now end, please. How much damage did it do? An extra 150. An extra 150 terminus damage there. Nice team, we won. Another W. But, but. but. Now I need to know what else I buy. I'm liking the Terminus, bro. I just trusted Petu blindly, but apparently he scammed me. Apparently we got scammed, chat. We've been building Terminus thinking it, like, like it feels nice to fight people in side lane with Terminus. I was kind of chilling with it. But we, we have been lied to. We have been lied to, chat. We need to figure a better, better alternative for third item. Bro, <laughs> no, 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 I know, I, bro, I genuinely took it serious, though. <laughs> you said, after Serox, 
This one, <laughs> I'll cite your words. After Stadux, demons take over. Sometimes I'll go Terminus, I'm like, attack speed damage. Doesn't sound all too bad. I can't carry my games. I'm like, what do I do to win side lane? Well, Petra did say Terminus. So, yeah. Yeah. We shouldn't blame Patu. A little bit. A little bit. If anybody Grand Pudding, pudding thank you for Prime. I'm really gonna keep cooking though. We will find better items. We'll find better items. Unleash the hole breaker. And maybe it's time. But if I go hole breaker, I want to go demolish so I can actually split push. What do we ban? I stick to my faithful Aatrox ban. <laughs> We're kind of full AD with this draft, although we have some magic damage, but like very little. <clears throat> Chat, it's time for some healthy diet. I've been eating too many Mentos, so it's time for some uh, healthy nuts. Keep yourself... Uh, you know what I'm eating tonight, Chat? It's, um, what's it called? Steak pasta. Not Shen again? Bro, your first time message, what do you mean? Doran's Blade Div. We can do this thing. Can I ask why you don't build um, Heart Steel? Because Heart Steel is arguably one of the worst items in the game. We're probably looking to coach this Sunday. Wait. Alois? Loki try Riftmaker 3rd. It's cooked. Better than term Terminus. Is this is this another uh, bait, Mr. Petu? Riftmaker 3rd. Well, if Petu says it, I, I trust you blindly, Petu. If you say fall, I'll fall. If you say Riftmaker, I'll build Riftmaker. What are the conditions for Riftmaker, though? Are there any conditions? Terms and agreements and stuff like this? No joke this time? All right. Okay, then we go Riftmaker. As as a Shen main, I can confirm the Riftmaker secret tech. Okay. I told you on day one. How, how is Riftmaker better though? I mean, your Q has AP scaling though, I think, right? Your Q? Does the damage increase from AP scaling? What what does AP scaling do for Shen? I need to read my tool. I need to read my stuff better. Wait, two chatters at the same time said Little Shampoo, Little Shampoo. You legit said it at the same time. Two different guys. You guys are like... Lost twins. Alright, well, we're gonna try. We're playing as Volibear. One of the strongest top lane champions in the game right now, by the way. You're gonna need anti hula against this champion super strong. You guys are not aware of this Volley build. It's like a Drain Tank Volibear build where they're gonna go Unending Despair. Uh, the shield item, uh, Fimble Winter, and Spirit Visage, and, and, and they will perma heal. So we're gonna need like a Bramble Vest early game, and we're and that's why we also go Ignite. And turns out we're both Polish too. Looks like you guys are holding hands too at the. Oh no, never mind. Sorry. Okay, chat. It's time to lock in. It's time to lock in. Yeah, I know Vargas. That champion will not die, indeed. Hi, key. I can, I'm um, I'm appreciating the new font. I think this font is way better than the old font, honestly. It's like the Korean font, kind of. I'm not sh sure how strong Yorick is at the 14.5, but I still think he's probably very strong. By the way, Chad, look what we bought today in the store. Fantamentos! They're not that good, though. 
actually there's more people in chat right now i need to do a the same test on a bigger proof proof of concept okay chat paul real quick okay i have mint mentos and and fruit mentos without memeing okay give me your honest answer what flavor is better mint fruit mentos Mint Mentos, no meme. I just I, I, give me your honest answers, okay? I need I, I need to know what flavor is better, mint or fruit. It's doomed. Poll, Fro vote in the poll. Why are so many people saying fruit? I don't get it. I don't get it. Mint is better. Mint is better. You smelly piggies. There you go. G Beardo knows what's up. It's time. Time well wasted. Doesn't know what's up. What are the level of timers? Okay, are you ready? You can get level 2 from the first 7 minions normally. So, first 6 minions wave 1, 1 meta wave 2. But, melee minion gives more XP than caster, so you can also do first 5 minions from wave 1. And get the first melee from wave 2. So, 6 minions level 2. Level 3. First two waves, two melees. Level four, first three waves, three melees, one caster. Level five, second cannon minion. So three melees in the cannon minion. Level six, the timer is the, the wave that comes into your lane at minute five. If you have lost zero XP, you get that wave, you're level six. There you go. Those are all the timers. And he just got an ingenious hunter stack from my milio. Unlucky. He already has one ingenious stack. So who won? Fruit one. All right, you guys are pigs. Hey, chat. In honor of the mint selectors, choosers. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, aggressive setup. Alright, Volibear is coming top. I'm gonna try and zone him from heading into the lane here because I'm an extremely strong level 1 champion. And he's spamming like this because of my ward, I can see that. Drag my through him. You don't want to stray, buddy. I'm trying to zone him from the XP while I was getting the XP myself, but sadly, his means is that way faster than mine. Well, yeah, he is ghost. People underestimate Shen's early game so ridiculously hard. And I, you would be surprised with how... I mean, there's probably so many people in chat right now. And, and this is not... You don't have to be ashamed of this. But people don't know that if you drag your blade through your opponent, you do extra damage with Shen. A lot of people don't know that. You do extra damage and extra attack speed. Like that. Right? A lot of people don't know that. This Volibear doesn't know it. Uh, what the f Priest Rum was with the gang from downtown Colorado. Um, don't know what the fuck that was. Get the hell out of my lane. What is that Priest Rum is doing? Level 2 invading enemy jungle to gank top and do that. That's just crazy, buddy. What the hell did I just witness? Drag my blood through him. Piggy! Alright, crash this way fast, recall. We gotta go for Bami Cinder, we already have gold, but I want this wave to crash into the turret cleanly. And then we got a recall. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, that was a Volibear gank. Uh, actually, the means might cancel me. Please don't do it, please don't do it. If you cancel me, I'll cancel you and your entire family. Okay, now we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're chilling. Let's go. And I'm not gonna buy a pink ward because pink ward is for people that can't track junglers, and I can because I got fire my hands. For your information on Shen, D Blade is so much stronger than D Shoot. Maybe I actually sh like the thing is I go D Shoot because I feel like. But yeah, people don't really respect my early game, so maybe I should just play more D Blade though. Gen in these matchups too. Terminus versus game. No, it's a Rift Maker angle. Petu told us to go Rift Maker, so we go Rift Maker. Petu told us to go Terminus, it was Terminal. Apparently it was a joke. So that's my bad. My Q is really bad here, by the way. I need to stop doing that. 
I block his Q. This champion actually gets hard countered by Shen, right? Because I can block his Q. So his combo is not really a combo on me. He's forced to walk off last hits. Oh, Brand is here. Elsie wouldn't have like that. Oh, I knew it. His mark is about to expire. Expired? I was checking right here above when the mark of his would expire. Shen Doctor, baby. I saw the mark expire, right? There was a timer above here where you can see when the mark is about to expire. So I kept kiting the volley bear, and just when his mark expired, I walked up. Drag the blade through the brand. I also when the second the volleyball was walking down, I'm like, wait a second, you don't naturally walk there. There has to be a homie waiting for you. I saw the brand. Psycho Island is Volibear. I know he was bored with a deficiency in iron and has no okay. So basically I just knew everything about him. And uh yeah, we played well. Let's go. Okay. <sighs> Let's keep it up. We're playing an Emerald Elo. The mark of the Volley Bear, he marks it and in the second deals extra damage and heals him for a lot. So you don't want to let him mark you. Uh, I want boots. I'm actually going to go this. Yeah, I like this. I like going to see the other boots here to just snowball. I should do this more often probably. Who beat Shen level 1? Hello, champions. Warwick. Um, Darius. Trundle. Ergot. Riven can be Chen level 1, depending on if the blade goes through or not. Fiora? Tra Olaf can win? A lot of champions, but it depends. Chen wins in short trades, a lot of other champions can win the extended fight. But Chen can also keep it a short trade, right? So, like, full, full, full fight level 1. Chen doesn't even win that often, but Chen wins in the short trades. Especially if he, like, drags his blade through you, and, like, hits you three times, and then does it again. Well, that's a... F well, whatever. I don't know how to explain it. You kind of need the conditions to, to, to make it work. I have ultimate... Any gang bot here would be amazing to get extra stacks, but. We'll go like behind him. Auto Q him. I don't have E. Pretty strong as you get to run, bro. Imagine I had E. Well, there's no Q-stack on that. I don't know what I'm doing. We also had no damage. I get such a big shutdown. I have no damage. I'm a pig. I also don't know why... Okay, so a lot of things that go wrong here. First of all, I shouldn't ult this guy after e Okay? So, I shouldn't ult after I'd use my E. This Ramus hasn't recalled EIGHT minutes into the game. That sucks. This guy kept walking forward, which also sucked. A lot of things sucked there. A lot of things sucked there. Now Volibear got um, two waves in and a plate. I like him. Rem remember Rem Rumbles like level two ganked me and like walked through my turrets? He still hasn't recalled since. What is this guy doing? Like, what is the guy actually doing, the Priest Ramos guy? I took half his HP. One trade. What's this? Ramos? Nice. He still hasn't recalled, man. Run, Aurelian Soul, come! Do I have teammates? Thank you.
Yeah, yeah, walk into me, bro. Just kill me. What's going on? Are they human beings? Shen, what is he gonna type? I'm very curious about that one. I'm tickle your balls. Oh, he, he corrected himself. I'm a. Ah, ah, okay. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. It's good that he corrected himself, that like, then I know what he means, right? Anivia's here again, 5 and 0. Mid laner absolutely useless. As a pig, certified pig, professional pig. My entire setup changed from me missing one cannon, by the way. I moved my head a little loud. I need to stop using my E habitually. I keep saying this. Like, let's not use my E leaving from base. I need to be ready to ult somewhere. So I'm not gonna use my E right now. I almost pressed it. Let's remove the second monitor. Okay. Now I can see chat again. Yeah, I think Ramos is actually doing a challenge. The no reset challenge. Like, this guy's not allowed to press B. What, what, what? It's not even worth. My teammates died. Yeah, it's not even worth. I'm gonna stay now, by the way, for this money. Thank you, go top. Bro, I have 8 kills out of 11. I'm not gonna be the one carrying this game. Maybe I should have ulted the Vayne there though, and not the Melio. I guess ulting the Vayne would have made more sense, because the Vayne can tumble in, we just let Melio die, but Vayne would get two kills. Yeah, I should have ulted the Vayne. I don't know. Chat. It's again gonna be a game like this, but I have to solo Bolo carry. Ramos. Alright, well, Ramos got a recall again, he died, so he doesn't have to press recall. Voldemir almost got my full turret, so he's thrown now. I don't even have a shutdown, whatever. Imagine I'm 8 and 1 and I don't have a shutdown. I mean, I don't have much farm, I guess. We do scale. We have Milio, already and Soul Vein. I think we'll win this game. I just gotta keep my team in it, and I hope Vayne and Radiant Soul can scale. If it only has 5 0, she doesn't have that much farm either. Nice, that's really good. Waiting for the W or Q? Misplayed that. I think I had her. I missed my Q slow. I think I had her. Oh well, though. 
I can... No, it's actually... I can act like it's insignificant, but getting her... Whew, that would be massive. Can we kill that guy? No, we can't. Ah, I'm forcing bad fights. I died twice in a row now, and I think the sudden is. Uh, yeah, I think it's pushing away from us. I, I just died twice in a row. I'm not getting any gold income. I'm dying like a full on pig. The side wave is good at least. The side wave. Actually, both side waves are good. That's, that's, a, that's fine at least, but I need to stop dying for nothing. I'm not twice for nothing now. Uh, we at least got the Nivea passive. Let's uh, recoup ourselves. Very good for bot lane. I'll try the side wave. So when I do this into br wait, why is there a small little homie there? The wave is pushing into me anyways. I think Rob is gonna go bolt, so I can just grab this. I'm gonna focus on this game because I need to. I've eight out fourteen kills. I think we're actually in a fine spot though. All things considered. This Volibear is completely out of the game, that's for certain. And we have two hyperscaling champions with a Milio. I can always try and defend, Milio can defend. Their brand is kind of out of the game. Which is biggest threat to me and Ramus. She's level 11, I just hit level 11 as well, so I'm completely on same page as the... What's his name? Anivia. Does he reach? It's one taunt. I can't reach that. I really still need this. Nice. We're outnumbered hard though. I mean, one for one with getting a shotgun on a soul. Okay, one for two. No, don't die. One for two, I can take. With Ash Flash and I already soul shut down. I'll take it. I'm gonna need magic to this game. Hey, that's a kill. Or not. Not worth anymore. They're gonna get the tier 2 now as well. Uh, Set Ash are everywhere. Milio, Vayne are together. Uh, that was definitely wasn't worth it. I have no E, but maybe bro's cooking. Oh, I'm this guy's the flush. Taunted. Taunt this guy too. Nice. What is this TP, man? I have item. One more wave though. Ash no flesh. My team should win this team fight super super hard. What is that Melio flesh? What, what? Well, we won the fight so we can't complain but like what is that Melio flesh? Criminal. Yo world 31512 my day has been pretty nice thank you for asking. Hope you have an amazing day yourself. Need your kindness. Next item has to be magic resist chat. Probably paired with movement speed. Actually, I think I should have had boots of uh, uh, swiftness this game because slow, 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 slows. I need swifty boots. It's swifties. I definitely need swifties. Oh, this is just no flash. You're gonna have to go and make the play yourself though. Go. Oh. Go fly, Aurelian Soul! Fly! Thank you! Very good! I reset and go bot. I get some magic resist. Too deep, way too deep, way too deep. 
All right. Um, so we need magic resist and maybe switch to boots of swiftness because I have so many slows. Um, I think I go this item. Yeah, I'm not sure if this ult is worth it, you know? Maybe I should just let her die. It's worth it. Oh, it's worth it. Wait, where's my W? I didn't press W. I have a stroke. My bad. I could've lived easily. I actually did a lot of auto attacks that I could've dodged like 400 damage there. Um... He has hearts too. Is bro cooking or is bro griefing? I can't tell. Maybe a bit of both. MR Bobby's item here. Actually not bad. That's what I could do as well to spike faster I guess. I like the suggestion. Oh, I did press W but the blade wasn't on me. Oh. Okay so it was behind me I see. I'm gonna push up both, and then I'm gonna group for Nash. So I'm gonna split push here first, I win side against either of them, and then I'm gonna ult. Wait. Wait. Yeah, let's push. They might suck Nash. They might suck Nash. Ramos has no ult, no flash. If they start Nash, it's gone, actually. But I, I just hope enemy team is not that smart. If they start Nash, it's goner. Are we dying? Shit. Wait, my ult is always a tricky one. They never wait for your ult. I shouldn't fight right now because Aramis is dead, so the odds are just against us. Numbers disadvantage. But I've not been spotted. Sorry, I had to do that thing there. Ult the vein, E flash on three people. Get out of here. Shen, why you hate me? I love you, Romeo. Psychopath. Brand is no flash, so it's hard for him to steal. Alright. My team can do this without me, realistically. So I'm gonna push out top wave. It took me 3 months and 500 games, 52% to climb from bronze 4 to plat 4. I don't feel improved at all. Linguist, bro. Well done. Bronze 4 to plat 4 is an amazing feat. And it, it is going to be a grind, bro. I am not challenger by just randomly getting challenger in a few amount of games, you know? It, really well done. You did an amazing job. And you're supposed to grind games in, in order to get to where you want to go. Wait, I need to tell, confess my love for him. I love you too. Well done, bro. You're doing amazing. What are you cooking with Codex? You don't want to know yet. Riftmaker. Booty shake. Okay. Riftmaker. I almost turned into spear shot there. Started rhyming and stuff. Oh, my whole screen is shaking. <gasps> I had a stroke. Look at them forming, got me down. I deserve to die though. That's all me, I baited them. That's all me, baby. That's all me, baby. Yeah, chat. I think my E could have, theoretically, theoretically, been positioned more appropriately. Tiny bit. 
Can I use that move to my ranked promos? What promos? They don't exist. Dopamine. Let's suck my nuts. Hey, my two homies skilled in the game though, like I said. So we are being chilling. Top tip GG. He also really toxic and crazy. Just report him. T -t -t told you, told me. Yeah, our shen is incredible. <laughs> Bro. No, don't worship. Hey, yo. Too far. This guy is a loose cannon. What is he buying? What's bro cooking? Has? No, I don't know. This is Bami Cinder, this is... Um... Bramble for Thornmill, and then he's randomly going like Deadman's Blade or something, or like Magic Resist item. I can't even tell. He probably doesn't know. How much did I pay this, Ramos? Quick 10. Qu quick 10 on the table. Total make me look good this game. I tried to do a level 2 gank fill. That's beside the point. I got an old uh, Ramos, so... Wait, I lose my tier 2 turret gold. No, not worth it. Oh, let's end then. That champion's design is so stupid. What is going on? I didn't get the tier 2 now. If I got the 2 2, I had Rift Maker. What am I eating? Fundamentals. Look. Careful. Okay, I need 2 2 k Then I have it. Then I have the Rift Maker. It's coming. It's happening. It's online soon. Uh oh. Unlucky. Who come up, baby? That th gameplay is, looks so wonky. He's just wondering everybody, too. Almost gonna save him. I can flank the branch yet, shall we? I'm not gonna drop my local gold this time. You want to take the portal? Wee! I want the Rift Maker. I'm dipping, boss. Dipping, dipping. <clears throat> oh, <sighs> some fire. Blocked piggies. All right, and then last item. What do we cook, chat? Dead man's plate. That's the one. I don't even know what to build, bro. This champion can build everything, apparently. GG Shankeri is all. This is Ramos, bro. Lyandris? Ooh, I like that actually as well. Do you guys think I beat this Volibear chat? He's 0-10. Three levels down. I'm gonna have a rep buff. Genuinely think I, I genuinely think I can't kill him, by the way. Volley. I mean, I'm four level, three levels up. And I've soul, and I'm two items up. I should win. But that champion has become so unkillable, by the way. Who did I ult? Milio, apparently. I 
I need to start clicking on icons for sure. Oh well, good game. We're on a win streak. We've only lost one game today. The game we lost, we deserve to win. So I'm happy. We just gotta keep playing well. And we'll climb on this silly champion. We stopped becoming the Terminator, unfortunately. No more Terminus gameplay. Apparently it was Grief, so don't buy Terminus. GG. Check healing on Rift. You can see. Alright, GG. GG. Let's move on. Chat. Tonight I'm eating steak pasta. You can't possibly imagine how happy that makes me. Steak pasta for dinner is, is like a blessing that I always look forward to, like a kid for Christmas. Priest Ramos can get it though. Buy Warlord Shen skin? Okay, chat, should we buy Shen skin? The problem I have with buying skins, I'm never touching this account later, okay? Should we buy a skin? I mean, everybody's gonna say yes. Okay, what skins does Shen have? I feel like I want a doctor skin. I want a doctor skin, Shen. This one, I need the surgeon. Okay, I'll do a poll. I'll do a poll with the bros. Bros can choose. Shen skin. One minute. Okay. Okay, pulls fire. Shock. Oh, shock blade. Surgeon. I am a surgeon. Warlord. Why is there an array in soul skin? Piss off, piggy. And Psyops. Okay. Okay, chap, one minute. Choose choose your warrior. Why are you the most gangster British Justin Bieber knows? Oh, what are you saying, man? Like did Ramos add us? He did. Right, who is winning? Shockblade and Surgeon. Chat, choose Surgeon. Chat, choose Surgeon. The Shockblade actually looks really cool. Maybe you should choose Shockblade, actually. Shockblade is winning. Yeah, but Shockblade is like one already. Yeah, chat, chat, skin does look pretty cool. Okay, what's Homie saying? I'm sorry, man. I was... Was one of the worst, but you were... <laughs> GG, bro. You did amazing. You should be a Grandmaster. He's trolling me, no? He's trolling me for sure. Are you, are you trolling me? Oh no, he's not trolling me. I am challenger. Okay, he wasn't trolling, I think. I think he doesn't, is it? Okay, I'll, I'll just link in the stream. I don't like doing this. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I'll link him. I don't think he actually knows, because he, he looks surprised, but I, you can never tell. Okay, chat, I'm going to quickly hide the scene, so you guys don't get the login to my PayPal. Shockblade won, so we're buying Shockblade set. We need to buy the RP, though. Uh, Alright. I consent to you taking my money, right, games? I consent. It's consensual. Alright. Alloys.league at your mom.com password is piggy. Hi, Ramus. Hi, Ramus. Why do I get a firewall pop up? Right. Why do I get firewall pop up? That scares me. I hate doing this stuff on stream, bro. Shut up, Razor. You cannot see my thing. I can see your mom through the windows as... Okay, sorry. Alright, we're back. We're back. Please, Ramus. Hi, Twitch! He said back, yes. Can we wave? Can we wave to Ramus? Hi, Ramus. We all saw your level 2 gang. Hi, Ramus. No, kidding, bro. GG's, buddy. You deserve the LP. Alright, we got Shockblade said. Lamar, hi, I'm Ramus. I was cooking, bro. There he is. Who's the next top playing guide? I, I want to do a carry champion. Gangplank Jace. Gangplank Jace. Trindamir Olaf type champion. Be nice, chat. Be nice.
Not, you know, Ed, Ed Alois and Al, not joking, right? You know, but it's possible to read your password through the microphone? What are you saying? Read my password through the microphone. Haha, <laughs> I was so shit I burnt black the kitchen. What is this guy saying? Oh, he burnt black the kitchen. GG. Try vein top, lol. No clue 203. Careful now. Say that one more time, see what happens. Hey. Yes, we can calculate your keystrokes from the sound waves from your microphone. Real and true. Right, listen to this, listen to this, if you can decipher my message Basically what I just did is, is wrote a love letter to your mom Decipher it, send it to her Okay, then next time I guess I fill in my password on PayPal, I'll mute my microphone the fat Dutch dude, Rim, shut up. Thank you to 55. Send that Ramos to scenario stream, link it to him on Lee Chat. He needs it badly. Yeah, Mr. Ramos, if you're still here, check out scenario stream. He's an educational jungle man. I think you'd be good for her, smiley face. <laughs> Yo, Rappler. Don't make it awkward. If anybody flames my wallop, I'm permabanning you. Yes, um, Jax is good to carry. Thank you, How Varor, for the primers. Hey, chat, 